Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots. Um, I am Jimmy Fantastic, my character is Daka, he is a human fighter with a crossbow, mastery hand crossbow, likes to shoot things, Daka Daka Daka, there you go. Hello everybody, I am Elliot the Nom, a level 3 rotten gnome cleric of the life domain. I'm here to chew bubblegum and heal idiots and I'm all out of bubblegum. <laughs> Dale! <laughs> hey, I'm uh, Dale Quist, I'm playing Florence Snarf, the uh, king of the world, uh, goblin uh, sorcerer, um, and I am one of the idiots. <laughs> one of He's the idiot. Um, hello, everybody. I am Dimitriov. I am the man with the axe, the man with the plan, the man who gets everything done, basically. While uh, these lads like to pretend that they're playing D&D, &D, I am actually living D&D. &D. Um, the the man is living the dream. I am, I am. And I, I, I like to get led down dark passageways and uh, get in all By kinds of small trouble. priests. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holding the hand of a priest. <laughs> okay. I've been waiting to use that line for like two weeks. <laughs> Brilliant. Is that it, Dimitria? That's just your whole intro? What else do you want? Well, I'm a fighter. Um, I've got the best weapon in the whole of D&D, &D, which was kind of created slash stolen from uh, Prey <laughs> <laughs> by myself, which is my trusty Hancocks. All right, boys, and I am Jack Bull. I am the, the, I don't even want to call myself the leader of this ragtag outfit. I just try to, to watch what the hell's going on and make sure that everybody doesn't die, or at least little Jimmy. He's the only one I care about, just so everybody knows. You're the responsible adult. He's, he's already dead. <laughs> actually, he's already dead. much to my chagrin, it's actually been Daedalquist who is most worried about, about the, the kid. The murderous loot goblin is like, well, what are we going to do with the kid? <laughs> How how old is little Jimmy? Just quietly. little Jimmy's approximately ten years old. You think you don't know Ooh, for sure? Okay, okay. I mean, that's I mean two he's, years he's, from, from he's had a two, good life, as not he? He's experienced some things. You know, he's two years from uh, from marriage <laughs> in any medieval society. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, he's pretty grown up. He's pretty. Yeah, grown yeah up, he's like he? it, it's not like we lost a proper child. You know what I mean? It's only like a little child uh, more yeah. plovatch no it's it is um prepared for free not cast for free that is correct oh. so he does not have to um he doesn't have to prepare those spells oh so i do still use a spell slot when i cast it then that's not that's not as exciting is it right um happy mother's oh, wow. day <laughs> I'm gonna ban HTK. <laughs> wow, HTK is a big meanie, isn't he? Ban. Big full on, big, big full ban. <laughs> full on ban on HTK, right? Um, right. If only, like, if only I could do that in D and D. So yeah, so last episode we ended up going back down to the <laughs> catacombs, didn't we, or whatever below the uh, below the manor? And when did they when did they become catacombs? Uh, when Jack Bull called them catacombs the other day. Oh, did he? It, it says catacombs at the top of the screen. Oh, wow. And okay. it says catacombs at the top of the screen, yeah. <laughs> Tillich catacombs, yeah, exactly. Um, just, so, yeah, uh, let's, let's go Googling to the battle map and uh, see what's happening. I mean, I can't see anything and neither can Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the point right there. And that is the point. Oh, what? Boy, you guys you guys just banged on HTK in chat there, didn't you? Who did that? <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> yep, get banged on. All right, so when when last we left our ragtag group of adventurers, um, chat can obviously see my view from, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, from Forge. Um, currently the only people with eyesight, <laughs> my friend Elliot here, who can... Let me just make one person uh, appear for them so they're able to see him. Both Elliot and Daedal do have vision. Uh, the, the, two, the two human fighters who do all the damage... Well, I shouldn't say that. Last time, uh, Elliot and Daedal did a lot of the combat themselves. Um, have none. Uh, little Jimmy is with them. Um, actually, let me move little Jimmy. He needs to be next to Daka where he's holding Daka's hand, <laughs> shaking in the dark in the catacombs. <laughs> 
And uh, what now, if I remember correctly, Demi, didn't you do a uh, perception check when last we left our, our, our episode? I did, yes. And I had. And you used your inspiration. I did. I did. And what exactly, what, what happened now? Oh, well, I, I, I think Dado and um, Elliot or Flagel Snap and Elliot are heading, or like heading towards a worm. And then I heard the sounds of other worms behind me and Jimmy. Daka. Behind me and Daka. There was okay, sounds. Yeah, so you of heard, other you heard worms. sounds, yes. You heard something is, something is behind you rustling in the, in, in the darkness. Um, oh, God. Let's see. So. Why don't we go ahead and start this with, uh, with... What? Okay, let's do it this way. Let's do, how about let's have everybody roll one 20-sided die. Whoever goes highest will go in order, since we kind of have four different things going on at once here. All right, so Elliot with a six. This will kind of just determine the order just to start today's episode. Docker with an 11. Demi with a two. Dimitriov with a two. First. Diced again. Always dice. Mm. And that's going to be for our good friend Flargo Snarf. Okay, so, Daka, <clears throat> you are the man of the hour, my friend. You have first action this this uh, this afternoon here. What do you want to do? Well, it's pitch black, but every we all heard something, didn't we, in the darkness? Um, D uh, Daka, I'm sorry, Daka and Dimitriov heard it because Dimitriov pointed it out to you. The two, I assume you guys are right next to each other, unless it's like a truly surprising thing. So the minute that 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 Dimitriov would have heard something, I would, I imagine he would, he, you know, you guys would have been within touching distance. He would have probably put a hand on your shoulder, hand on your arm, almost like a, <laughs> hey, I heard something type deal. <laughs> <laughs> I like brush on the butt cheek. <laughs> a, a, a gentle touch of the ear. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I guess it's rough, isn't it? So who who had the torch before we put it out? I think we Elliot blew one. the torch out at the end of last episode. Elliot blew it out. Even though it's dark, like, would we know where our torches were to get one out? Yeah, I mean, it's just in your backpack. It would take an action to kind of rip your backpack around, pull it out, light it. I mean, theoretically speaking, it should take longer, but there is no, it's just basically one action to light a torch. I mean, if you think about what the action truly is, <laughs> it's usually pulling out your flint and tinder, prepping a few things, lighting something up. We're not going to go through all that. It's just, mm. it's one, it costs one action to light a torch. Well, I'm not going to light it, but I'll get it out. I'll get out <laughs> the torch. <laughs> Okay, that's and good. Like, you can do that. You can prepare this as an action just like you would prepare an attack, for instance. Yeah, yeah. So if if we get attacked, I'll light it. But until we get attacked, I feel like we should just hold fast. Okay. In the so darkness. you have a torch prepared, and we'll just say at first sign of... I don't want to call it uncomfortability, but you know what I mean. First sign of, 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 of anything, whether it be sensed close movement i would assume loud noise behind even loud noise in front possibly or immediate danger yeah immediate danger okay there we go okay so yep we'll, we can definitely allow that thank you elliot then uh, dimitriov well um i i guess i guess i i keep advancing right the plan was to to basically alert the cultists and try to bring them back into this trap right so i'm unaware of what's taking place behind me Dimi uh, dimitriov and, and dag have heard this noise so i continue with the plan i guess head forwards um 25 feet am i able to tell where the cultists can see can i you cannot. There is no way to, to determine okay. somebody else's view. Right. Um, what I have done is I have added a... Maybe this isn't the best way to do it. Because they do have a light source on them. Um, the problem is, is that I, as I illuminate the others with a light source, then 
Jimmy, as he did last episode, can simply cheat and move forward with his just scrolling over. <laughs> it wasn't cheating. I couldn't help it, okay? So um, I want you guys to imagine, so um, the light source, mm. so for um, Daka, I'm sorry, for uh, Elliot and for Flargosnarf, the light source approximately ends. I mean, we should, like, we were, we went over this, right? We should About be able there. to tell, we should be able to tell where another light source comes into play, and then that light source just acts as a light source for us as well, right? Correct. However, you still have view. So, for instance, like I said, um, when yeah, you have one of the like, one of the limits of this, some, you toggled something off right now for me. Like before that, I and like the the pillar um, to to my left, uh, right in front of like where Elliot's looking, like that was blocking the view behind that. Yeah, there was, I put a light source in there real quick, but Elliot moved forward, so I'm just seeing what's in his view right now. Does that make sense? No, but, yeah, all right, cheers. Now I see you again. Yeah, if you can see in the dark, you should be able to still be able to see where light, and you've got an idea, haven't you, with like the rules, you could work it out with the rules more or less. If you knew the rules. Okay, so Elliot, you should see um, five individuals on the board with you. If a, I'm if not a, seeing them anymore. If a worm counts as an individual, then yes. <laughs> yeah, five tokens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, and and uh, and Dano Quiz, you should be able to see two. I'm sorry, Flargo Smart, you should be able to see two. Why can't I see more? Because that's the extent of the range of your vision. Like I don't see farther than that. I can cast spells farther than that. Yeah, but you can't see the targets. That's the thing. It's dark, though, right? You, like, you've got dark vision, but not no, perfect not gonna... vision in the dark. But if they got light, a light source, then I should be able to, like, tell, like, all right, there's light now, like, lighting up beyond my dark vision, right? So I should see that as well. You'd think so, yeah. Yep. So that's so. So going back to my explanation yet again, <laughs> this is where we're <laughs> going to have to role play this a little bit, because what I don't want to do is just drop tokens on the board that everybody can see behind you. I need you guys to be able to react based on what you see. I don't think it matters. We can not see them, yep. right? You, you can have it, and then just say that me and me. And so Jimmy just can't so see them. you're up. Um, um, so Dimitri, have you were were you up next? I'm sorry. Oh, hang on. Can I, I'm I cast lost. This? I'm Can lost. I cast I'm sorry, this Elliot. I apologize. It's Elliot. I'm it's sorry. Okay. We've got to get the conversation. I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Let, let's just get this party started right now. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <All> right, <baby. laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> oh, baby. Oh, This party started. <laughs> so I've, I've cast it next to this top, uh, top callers. Oh, I've gone blind. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, see anymore. Uh, yeah, I've, I've lost a side. <laughs> it's because you control that token, damn it. Hold oh, on. it's because I've selected the token. Mm. Oh, wow. Go back and select your character. I, how? I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on one second. <laughs> We're getting okay, into whole I... new levels. So... <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Um, right, so I cast the thing. One second. Okay. How's that? Uh, yeah, I can. I can see. But yeah. Okay. Cool. So I will attack the adjacent cultist with the with the spiritual cog wheel that looks like this. Just FYI. Uh, that's going to be advantage. Oh. Because um, we're going to say this is a this is a, a um, sneak attack. So you cast the spell. It appears, so, and right next to him, and then it attacks. Okay, 14. So, so uh, 18, though, right? Because the plus two, plus two. Mm. Yes, should be 18. Thank you. I didn't see yeah. you roll the second one. It's just a d20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, that's perfect. So, yes, 18. So, that does hit. Roll for damage. Oh. Okay, next. 
Cog materializes, you know, radiant <laughs> at that, sparks. At that point, we're just going to bring them all on the board, baby, because we're getting involved. And a, and, a, and, a, and a smell of ozone in the air and it immediately <laughs> cracks the nearest coolest on the head. <laughs> smell of ozone. Mm. All right, good. Spell. So there you go. So that's your your cat. You cast your spell. That's your action. It is. Yeah, I'm I'm done. Right, oh, wait, oh, sorry. Hang on. So I can. Yeah, I can make the bonus action, can't I? Mm -hmm. Which yes, is. You can. That's what I was about to say. Now for your a, bonus action. A, another attack with the uh, with the cog, right? I think we decided that's why it worked, right? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. So now you click the cog, and there will be a weapon on the cog itself. On its character e sheet. E uh. Ah, okay, hang on, yep. Uh... Under inventory. And you can actually pull that down to your um, to your macro keyboard below if you want. Uh, hang on. I am such a fucking good chef, by the way. <laughs> so what? what's the limit on, <laughs> on us in the dark seeing things that are illuminated far away? Please. So that's the problem, right? So when we talk about things like that, when we're talking about like, okay, we're sitting in a countryside, right? Where you have vision up to, you know, a mile, mile and a half away, right? Mm -hmm. Versus underground in a cave where we're going around. So technically like Dmitriov would not have sight of most of this because he's halfway blinded by the corner he's behind currently. You guys right. can't see that, but he is. However, because I have to put light on the map, he could just literally move his cursor over without moving his person and see everything illuminated. Right. So that's why what I did was I put a light source on the map. Right. And then, um, so that they, because the, the, the cultists have to have their own light source. Yeah. Like, it's, I mean, it's okay. We, we can, like, imagine that we can't see them, but, it, like, from a from a gameplay perspective, it is better for me and Dimmy to be able to see it, even if our characters can't. Do you know what I mean? No, like, without a doubt. Because we're just sitting here in the dark right now. <laughs> but, like, if you can if you can just tell us when we can see things. Yeah, that's what, that's how we're going to yeah. kind of play this out. You guys yeah, are currently just fine. in the dark. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so go ahead and um, roll for your attack there, Elliot. Yep, so I assume my advantage is now lost, so this is a normal attack. Correct. This is yep. a normal one because he's already taken one attack. All right, so 14 hits, so roll for damage. And uh, that's my turn complete. Is everyone gone? No, oh, it's Daedal first now, isn't it? Yep, Daedal is next, Daedal. and then um, Dimitriov. Did I sleep them? You may do whatever you like. <laughs> Timmy, stop putting them to sleep. It's happening again, isn't it? But <laughs> it's happening again. Oh my god. What? We're just going to end up with a load of people that we can't kill because Elliot's already <laughs> <has>. <laughs> I mean, Elliot's already, like, done something, right? He's already gotten the party <laughs> He sent in the party starter. He's gotten the party started, baby. <laughs> um, so, yeah, should I just sleep them? Like, the thing is, like, they can just wake them up before we can do anything about it. So it feels like a wasted spell. Yeah, you want to draw them into, well, I mean, like, I probably shouldn't be talking now, but, like, the plan was for you two to draw them to me and Dimmy, right? And then, and then you, our you can, once... You can, you can meta a little bit. I don't mind that. I'm not going to expect... It's one thing to have one of your characters, like, when we were separated with, you know, the the upper level versus the tunnel below. Mm. That I expected there to be, but you can meta this a little bit. Okay. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that the worm isn't particularly intelligent, and I'm going to try to hold that in place you're gonna try to hold the worm okay yeah <laughs> like physically <laughs> no no he's, no he's gonna cast hold person i'm assuming or hold yeah. creature because remember he's not a person well wow, that's a bit reductive <laughs> um, is it a humanoid <laughs> <laughs> what, the no, worm? he would not be considered a humanoid <laughs> Damn wow, <laughs> we're really trying to rules. <laughs> rules lawyer, this one. Well, 
He does have a small leg. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything. I was simply asking. I was inquiring. <laughs> oh my God. That would be uh, like saying, is Elliot a worm? <laughs> I guess <laughs> acid splashing. Five, so we'll get acid splashing will get their right. attention. It will do nothing and then... Are we doing the acid splash, are we? No, I'm just... We have to fucking sleep okay, them, so, because I can't, um, so... sleep, I can't sleep them post they're engaged. So, okay, yeah, I have so, to do it now. Datalquist, just so you know, um, currently the target of Eliad is unsurprised. If you picked a different target, that would be a surprise. Yeah, uh, they would. But... They would roll their. Um, they would roll their reaction at a disadvantage as a result of that. Can I can I sleep something that is in combat? Oh, I yeah, can. you can sleep any time, anything, anywhere, any time. Yeah, you, you and you can move as well, Dad. Remember, you could move if you wanted to see more. People. I thought with the sleep thing, you just go by the the game master, and it's like lowest health to highest health, isn't it? It's yeah, it is. What, what he's asking basically is, are they able to be slapped if if they know we're here? Uh, yeah, if they're aware of my. But I mean, if they're like really high health, then you won't be sleeping them anyway, will you? You'll be sleeping the lowest ones first. Or is it distant? I see what you're saying, yes. You guys are going to end up with like 43 prisoners by the end of this. this oh, day. man. Just going to have a chain you're gun. You'll be walking <laughs> no a torture. back to the town. <laughs> that's if we survive. I mean, that's pretty optimistic. <laughs> We need this plan to work, really. We need them to chase you, you you to lure them to us, then we kill them as well. In the dark, with no vision, yeah. No, because then great. we'll have vision because they've got torches, right? That's if you can't the see, they can't see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll attack the boss, man. We we'll just That's play Steve play. Is it, what's that thing? Is it, you know, where they spin you around, pin the tail on a donkey? Yeah. <laughs> I'm testing chromatic orb at a higher level <laughs> on the boss, man. I'm just gonna okay, randomly what's, what's swing my on that? 90 feet. Okay, I think you're within that, right? Yeah, I was like 60 away. Um, yeah, you're in there. Quick, quick question about the the boss band with regards to the previous boss band we saw. Are the NPCs bound by the same rules regarding spell slots that we are? I will they yes. run out of? Okay, cool. Unless there are now, in some cases, I could create a quote-unquote boss fight. Okay, that okay. does have access to certain things, um, uh, things like that. But for yeah. the most part, okay, the, <laughs> the magical world operates in the exact same way that that yours does. The so, wizarding world. Do you click uh, attack on the spell. Yep, click attack with advantage. With advantage, since this is not a cantrip, this is a ri yep. Bingo. Four. So a 19 hits. And the damage is... This is 48. Yep. Yeah, he cast it at a higher level as well. <sighs> well, it just rolled the one again. That's so that weird. Is, yeah, that's the second time. I'm not sure why that's busted. We'll figure that out. Just add the rest of them. So there's a three. Roll the next, um, what is it, three additional? Oh, so 20, points of, 20 points of damage. Uh, I would get excited about that, but I have no idea what just took 20 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you don't do it. <laughs> but we uh, hear things, right? We're, we're hearing, we're hearing like. Yeah, so, uh, so basically, what you're hearing right now is. Oh, 20 is, points is, of damage. <laughs> is, uh, Elliot, Elliot, what did they hear when you summoned the Cog of Might? Um, nothing. It's it's very quiet. There, there, there's a there's a visual and a um a, a, what do you call the um a um what's the word uh a uh, come on come on a nozel you know uh nasal <laughs> no yeah but but Did you sneeze yeah 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 but what's the word there's well, whatever it doesn't matter there's a smell and there's a there's a visual aroma. but, but aroma. it's a silent yeah an, an aroma yeah an aroma okay but, but yeah there's a the, the different word I'm thinking about aromatic. Is there so, is there a light like whooshing sound when it's uh, yeah, spin? They, 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 they probably heard, they probably heard the crack, the bonk, as it you know it really really yeah you know, <laughs> splash them. There's a verbal element yeah, it, to it, the spell. Though, there is there, a verbal so. component to it, so you would have to call out to the Lord and Savior. Oh. Um, but yes, and then um, and then you would have heard um, 
what does what, what, is, what is Florigal Snarp scream when he is uh, when he's casting his beautiful chromatic orb? What what is this? I, like get some bitches or what's what's what does he say? <laughs> I don't scream. I call. I uh, I call on the name of the dragon that I have a pact with. Olfactory. Okay. <laughs> no, beautiful. So that's what you two gentlemen here. You you know that you, shit's going down, mm. right? It's going down ahead. You've seen. You saw the green fly from Flargo Snarp. You know that's his chromatic orb. You've seen it in action already. Mm. So you know that the that 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 the two young lads. Have, or the small wee lads have have started the action. Yeah. Okay, Flargle, you have still you have not had to move yet. You still have your movement and any bonus action you may like to take. Naxamancus is the name of the green dragon. Yep. Uh, a bonus action. Uh, can I shoot a crossbow as a bonus action? <laughs> no, that is not. That's your. Uh, uh, that would be an action. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh I'm pretty good. Yeah, let's move back a little bit. Well, Elliot let's is holding, holding the ground. Yeah, there's no <laughs> need to be close, is there? The idea is you suck them onto us. <laughs> so there's no real need to Well Dale Dale's got longer range than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I move? Oh, because I uh, targeted that one. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, because you run the targeting. Okay, so Daedal moves back and back and right. All right, now we're on to Dimitrov, your last, right? Yeah, can I just head towards Noise? The exit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. You yeah. can definitely head towards Noise. It's dark, so you only get half movement, and you have to give me a dexterity check at disadvantage. <laughs> no, we've been oh, here before. <laughs> uh, we've been here before. I'll just wait here. I'll wait here. Um, I'll ready my axe, so I've got my two-handed axe in my head, in my hand. And, yeah. Okay, and so um, I need, holding, I need holding Jimmy's hand need, very tight. Little Jimmy's all the way in back. He just, he's gonna get slurped up. All right, so give me, um, get, let me have uh, um, Daka and Dimitrov give me another uh, perception check, please. Okay. Um, give me a moment, please. Normal. Normal. Whoa! Highly oh. perceptive. Well, I don't need to roll then. <laughs> I rolled a one! <laughs> you got that one. <laughs> okay, so, um, Daedal and, and, uh, and Ellie, you do not know this is happening, okay? So, Daka and Dimitriov, each of you, so uh, we'll start with, with Daka first. <laughs> Daka, you f there's something, your, your spider sense tingles on the back of your neck, right? The little hairs go up. Um, you are highly uh, attuned to what's going on because you're like, dude, this is, I mean, a high danger situation, right? A hand starts to come around the right-hand side of you and you can feel it in mm -hmm. the dark. And you literally snatch this hand before it gets within about six, eight inches of, it was coming around your face for your mouth. Wow. And you snatch it in your right hand. You whip him around with a 20 like this, right? 25, I'm sorry, a 21 essentially. You whip it, you whip it around, throw it behind his back in like a police arm bar move, right? Where like, you know, you've got the, the arm cricked behind the back like this. Come and, on, um, and, and whoever was, is there, whatever this person is, you've already got him in full control. On his, on his, um, his or her back, whatever, there is a small four by four glowing patch very very lightly glowing patch maybe giving off you would have to be within about five feet to see it it's that faint and it's a slight green Dimitri dimitriov <laughs> you on the other hand feel a hand go across your mouth this i think you've got this back to front by the way jack bull Say again? I rolled a one and Dimitri. Oh, I'm sorry. Dimitrov, one. you caught them. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Well, we could we could actually go the other way, and Daka, you could have just kept your mouth shut. So, <laughs> <laughs> Dimitrov, that's what I'm happens, be right? <laughs> no, I know. I appreciate that. So, Dimitrov, I'm sorry. Dimitrov, that's what happened. You, instead of a police armbar type maneuver, 
you have his wrist in a manner that is not allowing him or her to grab any weapon, right? You're in control. Okay. Doc, you were an idiot. <laughs> you, you didn't feel it coming from a mile away. The hand comes around your mouth. And and quickly and you hear all you hear is, Shh, you're among friends. Oh. And slowly he turns you around and there is again on, um, and you can see, you see the small patch. You don't see Dimitriov, but you see the small patch and you hear, um, Faps's voice. No. And Faps, Faps isn't the one who's dead, right? <laughs> no, no, Finch is, is the one we Faps were is the uh, one from up above. Okay. We we don't know Finch is dead, all right? I know we don't know, but I I I, I literally don't know which is which. <laughs> But we know he's missing. <laughs> so I don't know he's dead. I know he's missing. So I don't so know if Daka it's the voice does not of the get to react here. Dimitriov, you get a reaction out of this now. Well, a reaction, but like, have they said anything to me? Or have I just you, got... You've heard him. You heard the whisper. Okay. I'll be like, you need to start talking now. Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you screaming this or whispering? No, no, no whispering. whispering. What's happening amongst them? You hear, you hear Faps's voice, and you say, um, he, "He looks. He, he, I, I wanted to say he looks at you, but still in the dark. So you're still. You've got this individual. I don't want to say bound, but I mean you're in full control. And you what hear Faps's voice. And, and you hear Faps's voice, and he says just slightly louder to you, "You're among friends, Dimitriov. Let him go." Okay, I'll, I will slowly release them. Okay, you release him. Are you gonna say anything? Have you got any light? <laughs> Have you got a light, mate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is a light. So Faps pulls out a very small lantern. I mean, like a little, it's, it's, I hesitate even, it's almost like a teacup sized lantern. It gives off very little light. Oh, Dimitriev, you've seen this before. These are tunnel fighters in the military world, right? They're, this, FAPS is ex military of some kind. Interesting. In front of you, you see Omar, and then next to, uh, next to, um, on the other side of you can't really see it right now, but on the other side of Jimmy, there's another another individual you have not seen before. I'll be like, so, guys, there's they're down there somewhere. I can't see them, but there's a few of them, and there's these worms, grotesque worms. Faps takes a look around, and as Faps kind of kind of moves in front of you slowly, on his back you see another, um, you see a patch on his back, and you immediately know what this is. This is so when people when their unit is moving in front of them, they give off no light. They can see where their soldiers are mm -hmm. as they move down the tunnel, so as to avoid striking them with missiles or uh, missile weaponry or weapons itself. Ooh. Can I follow the light? I had an back? action ready, didn't I? So I could say something to him too. I uh, you're going to go next. I did, remember he's oh. he's he's got your he cupped your mouth real quick. They're waiting to see what Dimitriov was going to do. They're, okay. They wanted to make sure that you didn't start swinging on him. Yep, that's fair. It was a good choice by them. <laughs> it was a good one. That was a good that's one some, to roll. That's some move from the NPCs. <laughs> Dimitriov, what else, brother? Anything else? Uh, I just want to stay ready. Stay ready with my axe out. I want to get right on his six. So, like, if he moves anywhere, I want to be following him. And, uh... Okay, so Dimitriov... I'm sorry, uh, Faps looks over at the individual holding... Who's got the hand over um, uh, Daka's mouth and just gives him a quick nod. His hand comes off of your mouth. Mm -hmm. And you're totally freed, and it's your action now if you'd like to do something. Glorious. Well, I shall... Uh... I shall ready a crossbow attack in case I can see anybody. Like, uh, yeah, because I can't see anybody yet. I take it, um, and obviously not 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 the good guys. <laughs> and I shall okay, say, 
Faps pulls out two dual beautiful matched short swords. Oof. I should right? say Faps. Our plan it, was for the uh, for the two little fellas to lure. We found we found the enemies. Our plan was for the two little fellas to lure them towards us so we can kill them. Hammer and anvil. Okay, so you, Faps looks at you. You see him give another nod to his two um, compatriots. They slide little goggles down over their eyes. They've got and he nods goggles. to them. He nods to, <laughs> he nods to them and go around the column to the left. <laughs> and they disappear into the darkness. <laughs> Give me night vision goggles. <laughs> how much can you ask him to pay? How much are you gonna pay for that? <laughs> oh, how good would that be? We could kill Faps these guys kind of just for the at night you guys. <laughs> so Faps looks at you guys at this point and he's like, "So what's happened then? Where? What are we doing now?" He's now he's looking at you because you guys have a plan. Yeah, we're just waiting. We're waiting for the for the two spellcasters with night vision to draw the cultists towards us and then we will slaughter them in the dark where we can't see it they are only dark when they arrive that's the whole point <laughs> <didn't> <laughs> so are you is that what your gentlemen are doing you're just hanging out right here <laughs> yep apparently like that <laughs> yep apparently what you, would you say Dale when you put it like that, it sounds dumb. <laughs> Are you just hanging out right here? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got, you know, got our actions ready. You know, we'll throw handcocks and shoot crossbows at anyone who, as soon as we can see them. Right, All right go ahead and pop open your uh, your combat tracker. It's, it's going to be a big one today, boys. Oh, God. Try oh, roll for God. the cog as well. No, the cog moves on your actions. Okay, it's just there's a little dice next to it. But I just ignore that, do I? Yeah, there we go. I just cool, removed cool, it. Cool, cool, cool. I just made it a player character so you could actually control it. Yeah, cool. Hey. He's roll. Look at Jack Ball's roll. <laughs> yeah, 13, 14, 15, 15, 18. <laughs> Vloggle rolls a 6. <laughs> Absolute gas this is. Comedy mega. Didn't roll Mate, below a ten, did he? Oh no, he like, rolled one below a ten. The dice that he rolls, right? He would have won. Oh yeah, now, now, now with our allies you managed to roll absolute <laughs> fucking garbage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's not very polite. <laughs> I mean you're fucking rigging the game. <laughs> We've got two of the most dice men in Blood Bowl in the, in the Five Idiots crew. That, that can't be a good thing. <laughs> All right. All right. So Blood Fanatic uh, starts moving first. So um, in this case, what I'm going to do now is I am just going to put light across the board here, okay? We're at a point now where you're going to eventually enter in their light system. You've got a small light from FAPS at this point. We're going to remove that aspect of it, and let's get it on. Glory. Like Donkey Kong. Let's How much health go. did you give these guys? Like, there's no way we can get. I can kill these. He took twenty and he's only injured. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> what a bad the big, that's that's we, half my like powerful spells. Like, was he, right. was he the boss man though? Was he the one that took that's twenty? That's as powerful as I can do it, and <clears throat> I can do that twice, and then I'm out. Okay, we'll so be fine. Go ahead. Any questions at all? What the hell? Whose idea was this? Well, I wanted to go back to town. <laughs> Pass. We've got no <laughs> idea whose idea it was. <laughs> <laughs> right, so first blood fanatic at seeing his buddy getting bonked and then this this out of the darkness came this this amazingly green visceral chromatic orb that just shot the the we'll just say the, the priest right in the chest he yanks out his weapon and he just charges in i'm only going to allow him 30 feet of movement because technically you guys are still in the dark so i will not allow him to to uh to charge into that 
Oh my god, Elliot's gonna die. Elliot, you're next. <laughs> well, I, I see one call is coming towards me, but the others haven't quite started moving yet. I'm, I'm aware that we're here to, to, to wipe them out. We have a plan, which is to draw them in. I don't want any of them to escape, so I want to taunt them really. I want to make sure that our ruse works. <laughs> so I cast Thaumaturgy, and my voice booms up to three times its uh, loudness. As representatives of Kel Kalon of Victor, we command you to cease your ungodly activities, cultist wankers. <laughs> and then I move 25 yards, 25 feet even backwards. <laughs> <laughs> then as a bonus action, uh, my... Oh man, this is amazing. <laughs> Cultist wankers. This is so glorious. <laughs> Go ahead, keep going, Elliot. I command you to cease your own godly activities, cultist wankers. I attack the adjacent cultists, Ooh, and, and I miss, I guess. Okay, this time he's ready for the attack. He he ducks out of the way. He took two right to the to the head and shoulder. The third one does not strike. Oof, needs to aim. Um. Diced. So it says, as a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack against the creature within 5 feet. Does that mean I have to move, then attack, or can I attack and then move as well? It would it would be move, then attack, then, because remember, we're going okay. by the way that it is written. Sure, cool. In that case, turn So finish. just like how we said your first time casting, you can cast, and then it says there's also a bonus action. So we're going with how the spell is specifically written, even though... I'm sure somewhere, somewhere, somebody has fact that already, but sure, we're just sure. going with it since we're already going there. Sounds good. All right, so the the the, the quote unquote blood leech is next. So, <clears throat> the blood leech is currently involved in just tearing apart, eviscerating this this leg. If you remember last week's and the end of last week's episode, you had seen that after it after it devoured whatever it was, whether that was human cow, goat, um, horse, haunch, whatever, they threw a human leg at it. And then it's still working on this human leg, right? It hasn't even paid attention to what's going on. It is so just, it's, I mean, it is just in, it, 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 it's got this bloodlust for what's going on right now. It makes no action right now. What you do see, however, is one more section of its tail falls off behind it mm -hmm. about a one foot long and about a foot and a half to two feet around as if it was um a chameleon losing its its um skin but more than skin it's meaty right mm -hmm. and it falls to the floor behind it next up is daka um is spiritual weapon concentration or not no so you can have you could have bless out and spiritual weapon out at the same time. I believe so. Yeah, that's pretty sick, isn't it? It will say. Let's see. Keep going. I, I like I like how you how you uh, how you toss that out there. It's like, gee, I wonder how does that work. I do wonder if I could be better at shooting things. Yeah, <laughs> I, I considered blessing, but I I thought it would be better to shout at the cultists. Yeah, of course yeah. it was. I mean, I can't argue. Yeah, he with used that. thaumaturgy, but yes, so he could theoretically then yes, that is not a that is not a concentration. Yeah, oh, I think that's uh, I think you did the right thing, uh, Elliot. Don't worry. <laughs> um, Fucking winkers. Right. What is the? All right, Daka, you're up, buddy. Yeah, eighty or thirty. So I will just shoot my hand crossbow. Well, actually, what I could do is. Look how he keeps his distance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, what I could do is I could use my light. I guess my light crossbow does do moderately better at damage. Does it? Yeah, it does. Um, you know, and you would still get the bonuses with it. Um, it is. It is somewhat out of character for you. There's no negative as a result of that. But I wouldn't necessarily say that if you were in a situation where you felt that one weapon would do better than the other, you wouldn't actively switch to it. Oh, yeah, I've got a longbow as well. I could just shoot my longbow. That's way better, actually. Mm. You have three ranged weapons on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't screw around, man. This guy, this guy's, this guy's the Charles Bronson of Dungeons & Dragons. I mean, I've got the light crossbow. Well when you create your character, you just get the light crossbow, right? So, like, obviously I'm going to take it. I'll sell it. 
because and then I can just use the long bow or the hand crossbow, right? Like the the light crossbow, there's really no niche for it. Um, yet, I don't think. No, I, do I have crossbow expert? Yeah, I do have a crossbow. So, so I, I think I don't ignore. I ignore cover or something because a crossbow expert. It should say in your character sheet if you just look at the. Uh... Um, no, so basically, there's no, 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 really. The light crossbow is shit. Yeah, it does. It it must be the sharpshooter that ignores cover. So the cross yeah, sharpshooter ignores cover. Correct. Yeah. So the crossbow expert is actually does nothing really with a light crossbow. It's just better. A longbow is just basically better than a light crossbow. So um, I I can shoot my longbow. That seems a good idea. Um, okay. So unequip your crossbow. Equip your longbow. Yep. Because remember, you don't get your bonus action then of the free reload, right? Yes. Yeah. I'll just I'll just shoot the my and then, but then what I can do is when when they get close, I can drop my longbow and draw and shoot my hand crossbow. Exactly. Um, so yeah, I will shoot the longbow for now at the leader. One hundred and five foot, no problem. Did you, you did you set up your your did you uh, equip it? Yep. Um, right. Do it. This is it, isn't it? Boom. Boom. Yeah, but you got to Did you? You didn't equip it in your sheet, right? All right. Well, I don't know. I'll. I'll. I'll do this first anyway. <laughs> is this uh, just the, normal? The reason now? you want to equip it. The reason you want to equip it is because then it uses your range to tell you if you're at advantage, disadvantage, right. things like that. So right. I just equipped it for you. Right. Thank you. Does that thing have 600 feet range? Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why longbow, I said we should dude, all have a longbow. You, you've seen, you, you've seen um, um, Braveheart, right? <laughs> mm. yeah, true, true. Yeah, it only has a five foot range in the dark, though. Well, it's all right now because they're lit up, so we, we can nail them. I know. I was, that was a joke, too. It's a right, hilarious which one are you attacking joke. here? It was an hilarious joke. The lead, I've, I've targeted him. Look, I've targeted him. Okay, so hit your attack. There you go. Ooh. So that 14, so that arrow strikes him right in his left leg. Holy shit, you rolled a 6 and you get a 14. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> Pew. Ugh. For 6 damage. Well, not, better than nothing. Yep. Okay, um, bonus action and or uh, movement. And I'll just wait. I'll just wait here. <laughs> Yeah, don't trip. Trip. Okay, so the blood priest, looking at himself, seeing that he's taken a, an acidic chromatic orb <laughs> and now an arrow to his uh, leg, he's going to cast. Let's see here. He's going to cast cure wounds on himself. Oh fuck off! Like self-healing <laughs> NPCs, like as. <laughs> Because Elliot can heal himself too, right? Yeah. Sure. He's gonna cast it as a uh, as a let's see. He's gonna cast it as a second level spell here. Oh man! Oh man! And he heals himself. <laughs> This guy is super annoying. <laughs> yeah. Says, says the guys who are just like peffing them with shots and <laughs> fireballs and, and, and stuff. Exactly right. From the target. <laughs> and he moves behind the column. Yeah, but like I can do that twice. Then I'm out. I can't do anything else. He moves behind the column, and you hear him yell at his at his at his guys. The interlopers. The interlopers must die. These are the ones we must have heard of. <laughs> Fanatic moves forward. Fanatic moves forward. And now it's up to Faps, baby. <laughs> Faps moves up immediately next to Elliot and takes up a defensive position there. He is going to... Um, he is going to... Hold his attack. He's got a prepared attack action for if anybody comes within range of either of them and it's within five feet of him, he's going to strike with both his weapons. Four.
This fanatic does not like this weapon next to him. He pulls... He pulls out his dagger and he takes two swipes using his multi-attack ability at the uh, at the spiritual weapon. My cog. <laughs> My cog. <laughs> Leave Elliot's cog alone. <laughs> okay. The, okay. What is the what's the AC of this thing? That's the one thing. Pull open your spell. It's got an AC ten. and it has hit points. Ten. 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 Oh okay. dear. And how many That's total hit good. points does it have? Uh. One. <laughs> is that what it says? I. It says on on when I click on the cog, it says one temp and zero max. <laughs> no, no, don't look at the spell itself. I don't know if I if I. I don't think it says on the spell. Let me check. I thought it did. Mm. Yeah, Belgian. They are they are moving from light to dark, so technically they can't see. They're just moving towards. No, That's why it... I'm not allowing them to dash. It, it doesn't say anything, but I mean, I, I, I'd imagine that it's it's very weak, really. It's a bit of a glass cannon, really, I, I'd have imagined. No, it, it's 12 it's because it's 10 sure. plus 2 for being tiny. Oh, is that like the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the basic sort of uh, the default kind of health? I don't know what its health is, though. It doesn't say. It does, okay, so you can move it to 20 feet. Let me hit the damage. The weapon can take whatever form you want. Choose the deities who are associated, blah, blah, blah. Oh, was that the armor class you were saying, Jimmy? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That says here the, sp the spiritual weapon cannot be attacked. Oh, well, then there you go. Why did I think... I thought it had a... I thought I had read where it has a, uh, an armor class in, in... So, okay, so he's going to attack it anyway. <laughs> And the reason for that is he is not sure what the hell is going on, right? So this is a distraction. So even if he hits, he'll it'll it'll simply clang right off of it. We'll say it has an armor class of ten because it's doing no discernible um, means of uh, dodging or anything along those lines. Oh, so the, the one that said about the AC that's from three point five. Okay, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> so the first strike hits it. The second strike misses. The cog literally does not move. His his hand is is his dagger kind of rings in his hand a little bit, and a look of surprise goes a look of surprise goes across his face. <laughs> this thing is hella <laughs> OP. Okay, so this fun. fanatic. Can, did you guys see where I could where I ping there? Uh, yep. yep. Okay, this fanatic was one of the two fanatics. One of the two individuals who was eating a section of that blood leech when you guys came around the corner, if you remember, right? Lovely. And you're watching him, and and as he he still he finishes devouring this thing, right? He drops the rest on the floor, and you just see his muscles just start getting friggin' jacked, right? He's just they don't go like Arnold Schwarzenegger. They just you know they just grow a little bit more. The veins kind of come out of of them a little bit. They're, they've, they're, they're, the life, if you could say that they had life in their eyes, the life leads their, leaves their eyes, right? And it's almost, you know, like when a shark, you know, rolls its eyes back when it bites and it's like just visceral black. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what's ha what happens to these guys. Oh, man. Land sharks. <laughs> Land sharks. <laughs> Land sharks, blood leeches. Oh, God. So, Chad can see what's going on here, but you guys cannot. Flip me. Oh. And he moves forward 30 feet. Okay, little Jimmy's up. Little Jimmy comes right up to friggin' Daka now that he can see, dude, and just wraps himself around Daka's leg. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, so he's like, you know, so he's like on his knee, like, you know, holy hell. You know, like he, he thought that he was like up for this, right? He thought that he was up for adventure. Like he's, and instantly, right, he turns back into like this 10 year old kid. <laughs> Daka, while he's doing this, you will have disadvantage on any ranged attacks. Wow. wow. Nice. While he's doing this. Okay. Dimitriov, you're up. 
Smack Jimmy across the face. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pick, pick up little Jimmy on the way. Going here. I'm uh, gonna ready um, to do the same thing. So attack if anyone attacks Faps. Okay, and... so you're taking up his flank. Beautiful. Anything else that you'd like to do? Uh, bonus action. Uh, hold on. Uh, inventory. Hancock. Uh, attack. Oh, hang on. Do I need to mark him first? Yes, you always need to please mark your targets. There we go. And then, uh, Hancock is a bonus action. Attack. So whips out your Hancock. Whips out me Hancock. Uh, that strikes, so the Hancock hits. Go ahead and roll woo. for damage. Damage. Normal. Hey! Four damage. And then roll for your dexterity check to retrieve, please. Oh, baby. This is going to be a nat 20, because I burn all my nat 20s on my retrievals. <laughs> uh, dexterity. Yeah. Dexterity check, yes, sir. Ability check. There we go. Normal. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I okay, was about so to say is... whether you don't roll a nat one, but I I didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> okay, so this is um so the Hancock hits him in the chest, right? This is one of the ones that had just finished eating the section of the of the worm of the leech, right? So he grabs as fast as it hits him with lightning speed. He grabs it on his chest. He pulls it out of his chest and he immediately just yanks the rope out of your hand and drops it on the floor. Okay. I'm down to one Hancock. One Hancock that is, does not have... Remember, that's the other one that doesn't have its rope. Mm -hmm. mm. So you had one with its rope that's now... That, now, this rope is still intact, but it's, it's, behind, it's next to him on the floor here. What's next? That's me. That's that was my bonus action. So I'm ready to fight, and then that's it. I've ended my turn. Blood cultist. I forgot to add one guy to the to the action here. Let's see where he drops in. Okay, so I didn't see uh, that it didn't add Omar. So we're gonna go back to Omar's spot. Who's Omar? One of the dudes. One of our guys. One of the two. One of the dudes. Oh, so Elan and Omar is there. Oh, yep, Elan and Omar. Nice, nice. Mm. Okay, this is the other blood cultist who was eating the other section of the worm. <laughs> bit weird, this, isn't it? <laughs> A little bit weird, yeah. No, perfectly normal Sunday. <laughs> Oh, he moved 35. One sec, I'll move him back one. I thought the worm gave him extra speed. <laughs> no, worm does not give him extra speed. Flargo Snarp, you're up next. And they're all still out of light. Where is Flargo they don't, Snarp? They don't like, have a light source. <laughs> so... Good point. Let me gonna... move the light source forward with the guy who has it here. Thank you. Oh. Glorious. Where's the light source? Don't put the light out, Flog. <laughs> <laughs> put them all to sleep. <laughs> <Light out? laughs> that is our light source right there, the pinging one. Oh, well, we're just going to acid splash that guy and the guy next to him. Do I get, uh, like, advantage because, like, they can't see anything? No, there's no advantage anymore. You make sure they're within 60 feet. They're within 60 feet. I like, think they're... they are, yeah. I wasn't sure. I can't I can't judge uh, distance perfectly on this without doing the uh, thing. If it says you can attack, then you're fine. Yes, 50. Okay, so, oh, you're hitting those two? Okay, I thought you were going for the ones with the... Uh... Yeah, see, that's 70, and that's 65, so... Yeah, then I wouldn't have been as sure as I was, but I know my eye tests. Like, oh, do you? Okay, good, because you failed that one. So, which ones are you going to shoot? Didn't shoot at that one. 
I was I was sure that I was within range of these two assholes, which I'm clearly within range of. <laughs> All right, get it. I said nothing of these two. Come on! It's like, it's like playing D and D with the Swedish. John McEnroe. <laughs> <laughs> He's called it the board. Oh, that is so good. This was over the line. <laughs> Are you blind? I cannot believe it. <laughs> That's why they had such a rivalry. Well, they have to make a dexterity saving roll. Yep, so which one are you hitting first? Uh, the one that I targeted. Okay, perfect. So... Hit your damage first, and then I'll be allowed to make the saving throw. Wait, There's wait, no wait. way I'm hitting them. Nat 20 dexterity. Did you roll your them. damage? No. Roll your damage, and then I can do the saving throw. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> this one hits. Congratulations, Flargo's nut. Finally. <laughs> After 17 hours of D&Ds, hit an acid spot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, what's your next one? And go on. Cool. All right, roll, hit it, roll the damage. No. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that one is able to That's dodge. That's what we used to. That's what we used Yeah, did. but it was just one damage. It doesn't matter. And I hit one, so... Yeah, well done, Daedal. Glorious. <laughs> Thank well done, you. <laughs> well, what else are you doing? The... Any, um, any bonus action, any movement? No. That's what I can do with a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Elan, let's go. Got to say, this is a wonderful battlefield for Daka here, right at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else in front. <laughs> Lovely. They don't okay, so see. This one, how this can one how can this... like does, does he have a heat seeking missile? Faps no has got a little lamp. Go. Faps has got a little lamp. Okay, so is there Thank a heat seeking Thank missile? Faps. Thank Faps uh, when you die now, Elliot. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> he runs up Faps, right on top of you. Faps takes his attack of opportunity to swing on this blood fanatic. Nay, I love. Nay. His first oh, attack misses. Oh my, of course it does. <laughs> His second attack. So, um, let's see here. God, how would I handle a, a critical fumble? So, in his in his in his fervor to to defend Eliad, the first swing misses. He swings the second sword around, realizing when he missed the first one and actually drops the sword as a result of an overarching swing. So he's down to one weapon now. His sword plings over 10 feet away on the ground. Elliot, you're up, sir. Uh, I start slightly as, as Faps moves alongside me before Demetrio joins him a second later. I, I give Faps a, a bit of a nod and he, he nods back in return. I make... I make eye contact with Dimitrio for a second, acknowledging his presence, a, a moment of solidarity in the midst of all the chaos, before one of the cultists rushes out uh, to meet me. So I cast Bless. Ooh. Let's go. At, oh, I need to check which level. Hang on. What does the high level Bless do? Um, oh, one additional. Mm, no. I'll cast a level one Bless. And whom are you casting this on, sir? So I'm casting it on Faps, Dimitriov, and Daka, who I am within 30 yards of. Glorious. Okay, all three of them are blessed, so that glowing just reminds you that you guys have that extra die to use. Oh, wow. Glorious. For my bonus action, I will move uh, my uh, cogwheel 20 yards, 20 feet. I assume I don't take an attack of opportunity as the No, he does not. Yeah, okay. at, at seeing, um, he pr he would have taken the attack, but at seeing that he did literally nothing to it, he's now he was going to go into full defensive mode anyway. 
I attack the nearby cultist. Nice. Oh, I, I I My dice disappeared. Like, what number did I roll? 15. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it would have been Oh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, baby, big one. So your cog comes out of the comes out from behind him and takes him unawares, just knocking him right in the back of the head for big damn. And then I move away from the, the adjacent cultist. Trying to dodge behind Daka and, uh, sorry, uh, Dimitriov and Faps. Okay, do you have any action that gets you a free disengage? And not, not that I'm aware and of, you no. wouldn't, you're, you're incurring an, an attack of opportunity, is I, that good? I am, I am, yeah. So he rolls a 16. Uh, 18, because I have my shield, oh, but I'm... Wait, do I have my shield out or not? E either way, my oh, but I'm on place sixteen. So if I don't have the shield, then I am hit. Do I? I, I, I my thing says I have my shield out, but yep, do I have last, my shield When we out? last left, you were carrying your shield and mace. I was, yeah. Okay, well, I, but but I can't cast spells with both the shield and the mace equipped, right? That's okay. We'll we'll retcon that. We'll say that your mace wasn't in your hand then. Ooh, I, I think I would have kept the mace in my hand though, not okay. the shield. I so I, I don't drop, have my drop. shield equipped. Drop your shield, and then I'll, I'll roll for damage. Or not drop it, but unequip it. Sure, sure, unequipped. You take four points of damage. Okay. <laughs> okay, done that. What have you taken damage from? I, I they, they stabbed me. He, he nicked me with his dagger as I, as I dodged away. Oh, uh, He nicked me. <laughs> Just a, just, just a flesh wound. Isn't that like half your HP? <laughs> yeah, I only, I only have five total. <laughs> He's got the same HP as me, I think. Is that your uh, total? Oh, thank you for moving uh, forward. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, so the blood leech has finished feeding. Oh, fuck. So, immediately... <laughs> I'm sorry? I said, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, so the blood leech has finished feeding. And you can't see this, but the Blood Priest is doing something behind the column. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's wanking. NFSW. And he smells, <laughs> he smells, um, his, his, he smells blood on the air. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Daka, you're up. Okay. And remember, you currently have a child hanging onto your leg. Yes. Can I just use a move action to get away from him? <laughs> you would have to roll against his dexterity or your strength against his dexterity, whichever is higher talk, for you. I had to talk to him and ask him to let like, call. I mean, I wouldn't judge you if you shot him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> just elbow him in the face, like... He can't take that. He'll get knocked out. But, but like elbowing's an attack, right? I don't want to attack. Ah, uh, that's true. Talk to him. Um, can I talk to him and say, uh... "Whatever you say would have to be brief." Yes, you're not going to give him a dissertation. Yeah, I'll say, "Run to Flagel. <laughs> he'll protect you." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Dead I'm Jimmy. Not going, I'm not going anywhere near those guys. <laughs> okay. He's talking about the. Uh, he, he points. At the at the blood fanatic, mm -hmm. the blood leech, the blood fanatic, mm -hmm. he's trying to pull you the other way. Not not effectively. He's just you can feel him kind of like he's backing away here. Mm -hmm. You fucking quasi? <laughs> you fucking quasi? Um, right. Well, uh. use your head, Jimmy. I can't tell you what to tell him. I can't. I can't tell him everything. I just. Have, I'm just. I mean, I haven't got time to argue with him, right? Like this is like a six second. A turn is six seconds, isn't it? I don't think there's as a, a time to like talk or anything. So I think I'm just gonna like manhandle myself away from him to to just try and move. Yeah. Okay. Take take either a strength or a dexterity roll, whichever for you is higher. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna get wrestled to the ground by a child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, fumble, yeah. just oh, ability okay. check. Just ability check, yes. Ball and crack his head open on the ground. <laughs> Me. Okay, so you wrestle yourself away I, from little Jimmy. I thought Jimmy rolled a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like, didn't it? 
I was gonna have him. I was gonna have him grab him by the balls next. <laughs> nope. <laughs> right. So I'm. There's third. a third leg to hold. Oh god. Right. So now I'm thirty away. Um. Oh my god. This is dire. Which is in range for the hat and crossbow. Yep. Yeah. So now I'm in short range. Short range is just not disadvantage, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. There's two two levels of range, either normal or long, honestly. Yeah. They, so, they call it short and long, but I just say, you know, range and then long range. Long range is a disadvantage. Yeah. So, right. So I'm going to use my main attack to uh, shoot at this blood leech with a bow. Long bow. What the hell happened? Why did it roll? Oh yeah, because I've got the D4 because I'm blessed. Oh, amazing. <laughs> did, wow. you, did you use that? It was just it's used automatically. How fucking good is that? It wasn't used automatically before, now it is. Yeah, but I think you I think you're allowed to that I'm gonna have to look at that. Because you don't have to use it if you don't want to. But I guess so there's no that cost case, to using it, it is that. Yeah, mm. in that case I think you rolled you rolled a nineteen, you would not have used it. Yeah, but I don't think there's any like cost to using it right you just get it yeah you when you use it it's gone oh what no i just thought you got it like for every attack like you just you get it bless up to three creatures of your choice within range whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends the target oh, can roll. Nope, then we're good we're good we're good again that must have been a three five thing i'm remembering so yeah so you're good yes just free free Thank free you. attacks glorious the right so that's doing a... everything for me and i friggin love it because we can just rock and roll yeah that's amazing right, so you roll a, a dirty 20 on that go ahead and roll for damage a dirty 20. right and the 20 hits here right so i'll think oh. about what uh, oh menacing attack ha ha hang on a second sorry um, I just incurred an attack of opportunity and got hit. <clears throat> yeah, don't, we'll, don't... Go, we'll, go, we'll go back to that. But don't I lose concentration? Oh. Possibly. You have to do a concentration check. Oh. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, you should have kept your shield out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't think I would have done is the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you would if your strategy was to run away rather than bunk. Yeah, the probably, but... probably, probably. I think, like you know, I think that's you trying to be fair rather yeah, than yeah, doing yeah, what yeah. you would do. If, if your strategy being is, an honorable priest, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I think that's you being too honorable uh, rather than being a gamer. Too, but, like, how too honorable? Uh, yeah, at the end of the day, if your job is to cast spells and run away if someone gets in contact, I think you would have your shield up. <laughs> so not yeah, yeah, that's um, it's fine. Ne next time. <laughs> yeah. Right. So longbow does, boosh nine damages, and then bosh. Bosh, and let's see if we can menace him, right? What what is it? So this this arrow strikes the blood leech somewhere in its I'm, I'm you know center. He has no chest, right? Mm. The blood leech literally has no reaction to it. Right. Let's see if Thorax. we can menace him. Thorax, uh, thank you. <laughs> wisdom. Hopefully he's not very clever. Right. So we'll menace him. We're about to get outsmarted by a leech. <laughs> yeah. We'll come back to a Coven next round because I did miss it. I'm not going to retcon that because he's already done the damage in the attack. We're just going to go with it forward. So another seven damages. And okay, and what does menacing attack do? A wisdom saving throw, <laughs> and on a failed save, it's frightened of you until the end of your next turn. So it can't move towards me. Voluntarily. And it was, I'm sorry, a wisdom you said? Wisdom, yes. Huge, huge saving throw. Oh, baby. Ooh. Okay, so not only is he unwise, he's really unwise, right? So, <laughs> okay, so he's going to have to keep his distance from you then for the next turn until your next action. Yep. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Um... You Did you, you used, okay, wait a second. So you got the nine, okay, the nine, this, there's the seven. I didn't see this damage. I did already get it though. Yep. So now oh, I'm going to drop, drop the big arrow. arrow. Big arrow. Big arrow. Drop the longbow. Right? Drop the longbow okay. on the ground. And then uh, throw it on the ground! <laughs> and then uh, let's see if I can do this on the sheet. Yep. Pull out my crossbow and shoot it. Perfect. So your bonus action is any loaded weapon. Your loaded weapon you can, you can yank and fire. Yep. 
And he is now cleverly 30, 30 foot away. So... <laughs> cleverly at that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we can shoot him. Pew! <laughs> A 13 just misses. Diced. So that so when you did the menacing attack, for, for whatever reason, man, it reared up and kind of reared back and... <laughs> It has no eyes, so I, it, it, it's kind of hard to describe how a menacing attack would affect like a friggin' leech, right? <laughs> but we'll, we'll just say that that arrow indeed, as opposed to it not affecting him, you hit something deep in him. You hit one of his organs, mm. something he's he's never felt that type of a pain before. <laughs> and as a result, kind of lurched over and your second cross and your crossbow bolt um, swings wide. Mm. Can I move, attack... Bonus, like then move and then bonus action. Like, could I have moved after the? You can move? use your movement in any means that you like around your attacks. Right. So you can do thirty feet attack bonus, ten feet attack bonus, twenty feet, so on and so forth. Right. Okay. So okay, that's pretty cool. Then. So I've got another fifteen. Um, where I want. Fatal, quiet your mic, brother. I was yes. listening to that. <laughs> I was listening to that! <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to get fucked by anybody in combat, but I'll also, I'm 30 foot away from that. The big one is being 30 foot away from him, but then also want to close the distance on this fucking priest here. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll just... I'll stay where I am. This is pretty okay. Thingy, little Jimmy can still see me, can't he? So <laughs> he'll be safe somewhat. Uh, you're going to bring him towards the worm, though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. <laughs> Mate. Oh, he might not be able to move 30, so if I get 15 away, if I get 30 away from little Jimmy, he might not be able <laughs> to, to catch me. Ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, he might not be able to catch me. No, I'll get, I'll get fucked by all these, all the bigger boys. I don't want the bigger boys to get me. I'll stay, I'll stay Jimmy, right. did, Jimmy didn't want to run towards the cultists, did he? So, no. But he might run towards Daka to say, <laughs> "Right, I'm done." Okay, uh, forward, please. Okay, so the priest is pretty pissed off at this point, right? <laughs> He's pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> the priest is pissed off at this point. So the priest comes out from behind the column. And in front of, um, in front of Dmitriov. I'm not sure why that went on you guys. He cast Spiritual Weapon. And no. a, and a glowing, a glowing golden mace appears in front of Dmitriov and attacks him. <laughs> what holy corruption is this? Yes! <laughs> Misses with the first one, uses his bonus uh, action to attack with the second one, just like we do with Eliad. Don't. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, and Dimitri, I've ducks both of them, baby. That the blood priest best. then proceeds to move back behind the column. <laughs> <laughs> What is, so is, there, is, is it the same thing? Is there just a weapon floating in front of me now? I'm gonna put. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out another one, um, and then I'm gonna take Elliot's ability um, away from controlling it. So if I move, if I move, does it get an attack of opportunity? Yes. Yeah. But you can't attack it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty brutal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll come back to that in a second so we can keep moving. No, it doesn't. Plow says it doesn't. It isn't a creature, so it doesn't have a tax of opportunity, says Plow. It doesn't, huh? Look at look at Plow here. We'll look that up. <laughs> So he uses his full dash. Four. Get him, Faps. <laughs> he moves forward onto these two, onto Omar and Elon, or uh, Elam. What's his name? Omar and 
Where is he? he? Elon. Elon. He moves on to Elon. He swings at Omar. Two attacks. So the first one hits. I'm, honestly, I'm just hoping Elon dies so I can take his night vision goggles. <laughs> wow! <laughs> For four damage. <laughs> Jesus. I'm with you. For Second you. one hits as well. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, he he's he's in a bad way, gentlemen. How much damage did he take? Eleven. Eleven total. So, um, Fap seeing this is and not foolish near, enough. And, and the other guy is twenty-five, and he's like barely injured. He he he's he healed up back, right? Yeah, but even before the, the leech is badly injured, injured off about off about sixteen, so. Okay, so, so um, Fap now. sees this. He's 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 not unfazed. He notices one of his men is getting the crap kicked out of him, but he's not foolish enough to break ranks and make a maneuver. He knows that the best way for him to get him assistance is to knock these two guys down. So he's immediately going to swing it with his single sword, one attack at the at the uh, fanatic below him. Go on, Faps. 17. Four. There's seven points of damage. A fap of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, I'm on to the blood static. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go, right? <laughs> that not what's that that's about <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. he moves 40 to there and 20 to there he's taking a wide berth from this uh from this blood leech <laughs> omar immediately swings at the blood fanatic that's doing in his buddy Oh, no, Omar is the one that's being done in, right? I'm sorry, Elon swings at his buddy. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I rolled oh, the wrong one. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Did they swing at each other instead of at the cultist? <laughs> no. <laughs> you said swing, takes a swing at his buddy. <laughs> no, the one that's doing in his buddy. Doing in his buddy, yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you for noticing that. Omar. Oof. Oof. Swing and a miss. Omar, you shithead. <laughs> What a chat wanker. Wow. <laughs> Classic chat wanker. He, swing, he swings behind and he swings and he comes around and is uh, is going to swing on Faps. Oh, man. They're doing a great job of cannon fodder, these assholes. Yeah. <laughs> Two attacks with a dagger. Meat shields. <laughs> First one strike. Operation Human Shield. <laughs> Wait. What? Say again, Elliot? No, I just it just looked like that dice didn't land correctly. It's like between a two and a four, very strange. Maybe it's me. <laughs> no, yeah, sometimes it'll get hung up and the, yeah. the, the system will assume it's rolled correctly. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the second one misses. <laughs> what what, Dimmy? <laughs> No, it did it for me. Like it landed cocked. Like, yeah, yeah, it landed exactly. Landed with the yeah. point, like facing straight up. But then it said it was an eleven. But like not. You've in got that a, you've got a little dude hanging off your leg again, buddy. Fantastic. Roll two before. Dimitriov, you're up. Right, I am gonna steam around the corner here, uh, and I'm gonna let out a battle cry, and I'm gonna shout, "Die!" You cultist wankers! <laughs> and then I'm gonna get my axe out. I'm gonna swing straight for his head because you know, headshot dead. You know. <laughs> uh, where are oh, we let's going? Let's see it. Well, 
Hang on. Demi's clearly the brains behind this operation. <laughs> Headshot! Ed! <laughs> Die, kill this wanker. Oh, oh, he's so close. Oof, got funny. him. Did I get him? Yeah, you got him. That hits him. Roll for damage. I'm pretty uh, sure they're AC 13, these damage. fellas. And then, if he's not dead, I'm going to do... Uh, that, that that axe takes a nice chunk out of one of his shoulders. Oh, I had a shoulder of pork last night. Oh. <laughs> what you have another one tonight? Uh, yeah, we're gonna have another shoulder of pork, and then I'm gonna do an action surge, which gives me another hit, right? I believe. Uh, how do I use this? You just uh, click on it like it's a weapon, and it'll expend it. Then standard roll, I guess. Usability, there we go. And then inventory. We're going to hit him again with the axe. So as I took a massive chunk out of his shoulder, I'm going to do the reverse sweep like uh, Pete Sampras. <laughs> and, now, uh, we're, now we're into tennis references. Great. <laughs> well, like, like you handle an axe. Oh, like, big oh. hit there. That's and a crit, a, baby. A 28. Smash, like, you know? <laughs> All right. Give me, give, now make sure when you, when you roll for damage, it'll say critical on it. Click the critical one. Critical oh, hit. critical hit. Ah. Oh, war cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuwa. Smears blood over his over your face. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he probably could. <laughs> and then my bonus action will be throwing my rope plus Hancock. Is that still allowed? Is that 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 is allowed? You're within five feet, so it will be a disadvantage. Okay, I'll I'll throw it. So if I throw it past him. Nah, actually, I'll just throw it at him. Well, gonna... Yeah, whether you miss him or whether it hits him, it's going to be stuck in him or gone behind him. Not gone, but you know what I mean. So... Gone forever. Hancock, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's saying one action. It's not letting me do it for some reason. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to attack the guy that's right next to me. Disadvantage, you say. Oh... Whoa. So okay, so nice. the Hancock misses and flies beyond him in, into the in, and clatters on the ground several you know, fifty sixty feet away into the abyss. <laughs> Cheers. And I, Cheers. Cheers. I, I let out I let out a spurring on cry and I'm like, come on! <laughs> All right. Glorious. So once again, taking a wide berth around that blood leech, right? <laughs> Flargo, you're up, sir. Well, they've positioned themselves nicely here, so... Uh... Here it comes, boys. Uh-oh. Oh, baby. Now we're not gonna do the thunderous boom. <laughs> We are gonna cast this at level two to get <laughs> maximum amount of sleeps in. <laughs> and look at that. Look at Dimmy. Okay, so 25 uh, total points. Diced again. Diced a fucking yen. <laughs> it's insane. Did you see that one bit, one at average roll? Everything might, else was might, below it, average. It might actually do some work this turn, to be fair. This, this might actually be better than I thought. What's average? 31.5. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> Did you know, how did you work you know, what was that the out? Because it's it's seven 25. times okay, four so and a half. Okay, so those two those two fall to the ground unconscious, dropping their weapons. But it was pretty quick. It was pretty quick from Eliod. 
We'll give him a 9 out of 10 for quick maths. I, I, I started as soon as I saw the roll. <laughs> <laughs> How dice does this person beat? I must know. <laughs> Four weeks. You know what's interesting, Jim, is there is a dice log in Forge that we could pull up and see how many oh. 20s, what the average, all of that wow. crap. No, no dice dogs, please no dice dogs. Oh, yes, dice dogs, not for d and the whole week <laughs> looking at that dice log. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a cool down after the, like, the, the, the down talk after the session is just going to be a dice log for three hours. <laughs> why, why, why do the worms always get blitzes? <laughs> Honestly, blitz seven times in three combats by worms. <laughs> okay, so what else are we doing? Um, there I mean, portal. how many of them are asleep? The two that two, fell two. down there. Two, two. You can see on the thing, which is good. It means we're not getting hit. So that's. Yeah. But I, I, I would love it if we could keep Claps alive. Wait. So you're seriously saying that they add that? The near death guy. Mate, that I must hit... have been like two HP. No, I hit that guy for like fifteen. Yeah, so he, he he has to be at like three at maximum four Mate, HP. I, but but I these hit... guys are no, chunky. No, no, no. I hit him for twenty six damage, Dadel. So the guy that fell asleep in front of you, he's already much... so that means that these other guys are all plus thirty HP. Oh shit! All right, yeah, there's no yeah, point yeah. for me to do anything. No, 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 there is, there is. Abandon uh, all hope. <laughs> right away. <laughs> I've used like my two wind. level two spells and I've done literally nothing. <laughs> what are your level so ones? John, John McEnroe doesn't ones? like the fact that his spell didn't put more than two people asleep. <laughs> magic why missile. Do have I you got only magic have... missile? Why do I only have uh, three level one spells? Uh, you used one, didn't you? Uh, let's see, no. you just used Sleep, which is one of your level 1 spells. No, I used that at level 2. Oh, Chromatic Orb, to open the game, to open the combat. Oh yeah, that's true. No, I used that at level 2. Mm -hmm. That's why I have no level 2 spells. Okay, instead of going all the way up, I'm just going to give you back a level 1 spell. But I think you cast that at a level one, didn't you? No, that's if if I did, I would have had two, one level two spell left. Oh, you used charm person last uh, last session. You tried to charm um, the oh, one of the cultists. Yeah. All right. The DM never forgets. <laughs> Except concentration checks for the for the gnomish uh, priest. Well, that was really <laughs> that, that was my bad way. I should have done the dodge first and then done the the spell, shouldn't I? Really? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the way definitely. It, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Now you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I haven't clicked uh, enter. Okay. So now Elon's gonna swing at the one that has uh, has taken a chunk out of his buddy. And eleven swings and misses again. Oof. These fucking guys. Blood fanatic going after Fap. Two dagger strikes. Uh-oh. Yep, 16 will hit. Very low damage. How does he have piercing damage? That did... What? Dagger, innit? Yeah, there's just, they're just types of damage for like... They're what, just different the types of damage, are... yeah. But it's like, it's not impressive. Plus two. Ellie, the Nom, you are up next, sir. Faps is, is under a soul in front of me, but he's holding his own for now, and my, my triaging sensors um, call me call me elsewhere. <laughs> so I move up behind Omar and cast Cure Wounds. 
Oh, I guess I target Omar. Doesn't even matter, does it? I mean, I see why they're like missing everything, Omar and Elon, and why they're getting beaten to death. They're looking up at the sky. <laughs> Three. I think that's gone on my bonuses on correctly, so eight, eight health. How do you know they're not just really short? I grab Omar, not by the shoulder, because we've already ascertained that this isn't possible for a gnome, but by the the knee, the back of the knee, I don't know. <laughs> and, 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 and the life force flows down my arm and my hand and you know reinvigorates the fighter as he as he duels with the cultist. I'm just seeing the Elio the moat in where. <laughs> <laughs> As a bonus action, I move the cog of the chief engineer towards the 20 yard, 20 feet towards the uh, priest. And my turn is complete. Okay, so now fresh blood is on this battlefield, right? So the blood leech now, instead of, uh, of moving towards Faps, moves north towards Omar. He literally will plow through the, uh, the, the cultist here. <laughs> Give me one second, I'm doing strength versus strength. Okay, so the cultist gets knocked. There will not be an attack of opportunity here because he's literally getting plowed out of the way. <laughs> and he goes right into that wall. I'm gonna give him D4 damage for that. And this blood leech moves right on to, uh, right on to Omar. And he's going to take a tentacle attack. His so his five, uh, we'll call them tendrils that are coming. So this maw opens up, right? Is and and in it's almost uh, sucking in the air, like you can smell the blood, right? Almost like a, not really like a dog, but like a, it's 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 hard to describe. It's pulling, it's pulling this. You can just tell it's pulling the scent of the air into its maw, and these five, uh, and we talked about this uh, yesterday. They're like barb covered or thorn covered wouldn't call them teeth tendrils move out to strike at um, to strike at Omar uh -oh. <laughs> I just healed it come on <laughs> so, so this so um, what happens is in this case right Omar is like this thing's just coming at him right and it knocks the blood cultist off <laughs> I like chat <chatting>, rip Omar, <laughs> and it just knocks the uh, knocks the blood cultist to the side, right? And then as Omar kind of is is taken back by it, his head kind of comes down a little bit, and this maw just goes right around his head, right? For sixteen points of damage. <laughs> Omar's head comes clean off, <laughs> right? As his, as there's this beak inside of, uh, uh, it's not really a beak. It's like, it's like these four or five ugly teeth come together in one point in the middle and they just take his head friggin' clean off, right? Blood's flying up in the air because I mean, it's just so, so quick and so fast, right? And Elliot, Elliot had just healed him, so his heart was going a hell of a lot faster. His blood was pumping, and man, it's just a shower that goes up and kind of covers this blood leech, and a little bit flies onto Elliot. Some flies onto Elon, and the blood leech just starts gorging, gorging on on his body. So, for clarity, the head is being is come off. Is that is that thrown somewhere, or is it being eaten? No, he's eating. Where, where he's are the goggles? The head. Yeah, the <laughs> goggles is what I'm. My main concern at this point is the the location of the goggles. Yeah, nice. So, not only has his head come off, his neck has come off. Half of his shoulders have, to... have come off, right? And you're gonna have just... to cleave that bad boy in half and go looking for the goggles. <laughs> he's just engorged. I just, just, I mean, and it's it's the ugliest 
ugliest sound you've ever heard, right? Just as just, you know, meat and blood and bone. And it's just, I mean, poor, this poor guy, dude, he just got taken to town. <laughs> Brutal. So and worse the blood than leech is, the, the, the blood leech starts to turn a little bit of a darker red. Oh god, and it's healed itself. And, and it's... some of its wounds start to close up a little bit. Oh god, I've got to kill it, I guess. Flip me. Doc is up next. Okay, right. So first of all, I'm going to say to little Jimmy, I'll say, you gotta let me, you got to let go of me so I can kill these guys. Just stay behind me, but you know, don't grab hold of me anymore, okay? Okay, give me give me a okay. persuasion check <laughs> at advantage because he likes Daka. He is Daka's okay. who he's who he has uh, who he's who he's taking a liking to here. Persuasion. Did you go with the intimidation, Jim? <laughs> okay. So little Jimmy kind of looks up at you. You know, his, his eyes are slightly watered and glazed over, and he just gives you. a... Oh, 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 okay, 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 Daka. I, I'll do whatever you say, Daka. Where, where, okay, where you want me to go, Daka? <laughs> Just stay, stay, stay behind me, like as 10 close feet to the me. worm as you can. <laughs> okay, he kind of just backs <laughs> off from you, but he is keeping you between. He's, he doesn't even notice the other cultists anymore, man. He just saw some dude get eaten in half, right? Wow. So all he's focusing on is that friggin' blood leech now. He's gonna be sad about where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go here. We're gonna kill this fucking blood leech. All right. Or in hand-to-hand -hand combat. In hand-to-hand -hand <laughs> combat with a crossbow. Let's fucking go. Oh my god, Jim! What have you done? Boosh. You're going balls deep, baby. Oh fuck me! I might probably don't hit him it's there. All do misses. I? Okay, so um, wait, 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 wait. He's a big target, so you do hit him, but it it literally bounces off what? of his thick tot, this what? thick hide after what? this is this feeding. Wait, wait for me, wait for me, wait for me, Jack Bull, because I'm gonna spunk everything I've got this turn. <laughs> You're gonna do what? <laughs> I'm gonna spunk everything I've got this turn. So you we're want gonna inspiration. we're gonna precision attack it? this guy for a start, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh god, this is Ooh. gonna end horribly. Oh no, yeah, I do have an inspiration. Oh, so maybe maybe use the inspiration. Yeah, okay, use the inspiration's better. Yeah, okay, I'll use the inspiration. Okay, you go ahead and use your inspiration. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just basically attack again, right? And then it was yeah, just one, yeah, attack yeah. Or one more. Just click the same. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Oh. Okay, that time it hits. That's better, right? So they, they, that's that. That's that used, right? So yep. So make sure you click the inspiration off your character sheet so it's off. Give me the damage roll, please. Yep. And I'm gonna use a tripping attack. It doesn't have legs. I don't care. You can you can trip over a worm, right? Yeah. But but can the worm trip over itself? I don't know. Look, so that's thirteen damages so Let's far. See. Okay, yeah. now, what do we have? What what does the trip attack do? A strength saving throw. He's in prone. Yeah. And on a fail save, he's not prone. Oh, oh here we go, boys. Let's fucking rush that beast. He's okay, so. Now. This is interesting, right? Can you knock a leech prone? Because it's already technically prone. You can. You yeah, can. It's not. It's, it's not technically prone, is it? It's. It's moving around. Well, you yeah, can knock a minute, beast of The reason I'm not prone. giving it disadvantage on a prone attack is because it's so friggin' big, right? I mean, it's. Mm. So it's on the ground. But is it not like a centipede on its back? Yeah. Well, he didn't flip it over. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's, well, that's what that's what prone is for a worm, it's, it's, right? It's, it's not a flip over attack. It's a trip attack, right? <laughs> um, Doc is not going to like this. I so he's already feeding most of his body's on the ground. I mean, he's yeah. not. You know, he's not reared up. In fact, you haven't even seen him get a majority of his body off of the ground at all. Right. Um. So should I not have already got advantage then? <laughs> to no, it? because he's so he's so he's not he's he's not a he's not. I mean, he's got no legs. Mm. So how do you knock that which has no legs prone? Mm. The right? beast Venereal can get prone. 
So, go. well, we don't talk about um, Cyanide well. or uh, Games Workshop. <laughs> so, but I want to give you the advantage for, okay, so he's not going to be prone. You're still going to incur your, your advantages as if he were prone. We'll say that. I'll meet you right. halfway. Thanks very okay? much. Thanks very much. So then the I'll next thing. I'll meet you halfway thing. on this one. Thank you very that, much. That is uh, technically not halfway. <laughs> <laughs> next yeah. thing, we've got the action surge. Right. Boom. Use the ability of the action surge. Are you, are you just quietly though? Are you not at disadvantage for being in like hand to hand combat? He's a specialist though, isn't he? Crossbow, crossbow expert. Ah, oh, crossbow, yeah, crossbow expert. expert. So, so it never suffers disadvantage. No, no, you just shoot, it's just blam away. Like a pistol, it's like, it's like Judge Dredd, that's the idea. You just got this fucking crossbow piece and you just shoot people at point blank range, shoot people at long range. Glorious. <laughs> OP to the G. <laughs> right, so we'll hand crossbow him again. And we'll go with advantage because he's kind of prone. <laughs> nice. Okay, 26, so give me your damage. <laughs> And now we're gonna do. Now we're gonna do another kind of attack. We're gonna use another well, superiority. Don't, don't dice do here. it yet, until you see if he's dead. I mean, he might. Okay, he's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. We're gonna fucking do something though. I guess menacing, menacing attack. Eh? Seeing as he's already, he's already tripped. <laughs> <laughs> you better hope nobody else comes into this fight, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping that. Yeah, I, I feel like you know he's just taken the head off somebody. I think it's all okay that's, to that's try the baby kill. worm, Jim. We we're waiting for the big one, yeah. Yeah. Right. So twenty-one feet. <laughs> menacing. Uh, what's this? Okay, standard roll. Boom. Uh, I just... Okay. Um, what? I don't know why. It's gone a bit wrong here, but anyway, it's a D8, isn't it? Have you clicked yes. the right thing? It looks like I you think... haven't clicked the right thing. You clicked the superiority die, not the actual ability. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it looked like I fucked it up, but never mind, right? So it's, it's another I six. Click, click the ability you want to use because that'll Otherwise use it Otherwise, it won't expend it. Yeah, it, yeah. it did use the superiority die, but it just, so it's, it's the superiority die's been used anyway, so I'm down to one left. Um, so menacing, it's not going to move towards me anyway, right? Because it's it's attack, it's in combat anyway, so it's just the extra damage. Is it still alive? It's dead. Glorious. It's it's turned invisible as well. Glorious, yeah, it's dead. Um, so then I'll use my bonus attack to shoot at this other fella who's uh, who's here, right? At this one here. And I guess I won't use... I I'll guess I can stop using all of my dice now. <laughs> Okay, so. Pew. Perfect. 29. And. 17. <laughs> Does anyone else get the feeling Jim's character, Dacker, is insane? He's alright, isn't he? Pew, okay. pew. Okay. Oh, that's me done. That's your dog? That's me done. Pew, pew. Here comes the big boy. Oh shit. Alright, let's see no, what he's what? gonna do what? here. Oh, you're talking about the uh, geezer behind the park? Priest, yeah. yeah. Is he the big boy, is he? Well, I guess the leech was the big boy, really. This is the little big boy. The second biggest boy, yeah. Just quietly, this looks like a cave down to somewhere, by the way. Uh, I don't know, it looks like a dead end to me. You reckon? Wait, yeah, even, uh, it's a dead. Even with your night vision? Yeah. Mm. We're just having a little bit of a hobnob during the battle. About where the cave leads. Mm. Hobnob? I like a hobnob. Alright, so he's going to move away from this, uh, this spiritual weapon as fast as he can. See what my range is here. 120 feet. Okay. Oof. So he is going to cast his guiding bolt at uh, Flargo Snarf. <laughs> 
and he's going to use it as a level two spell. Hey! <laughs> Suck it, oh, <laughs> Okay, so he misses there. Nice animation, though. He's going to attack fast. Ignore what I've just put on the field, please, because I don't know how to get Control? rid of it. I Whoa. don't know how to get rid of that. What did you do? Uh, nothing. I just made a template. <laughs> I don't you know tried to heal. Oh, just uh, go back to the templates and then you can, you can delete it. it. Okay. You can't heal it, Jim. You have to bleep Multi out. Multi-attack to faps. Whee! Oh, did I use a bad word? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know how to delete it. I just made another one. <laughs> Faps is gonna, we need to keep Faps alive. Yeah, we kind of. Faps is getting wrecked. Do we? He was a bit of a knob, to be honest. Elliot's <laughs> 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 gone from. <laughs> Stay your hand, brother. Yeah, we, we, so, we, need, we need to uh, find Finches. I'm, I'm not allowed to like lightly torture the cultists, <laughs> but Elliot's. <laughs> Fine. Like... <laughs> I'm not saying we should kill him, yeah, but yeah. if he it... dies, he dies. Don't need to try and save him. It's a priority <laughs> system, right? You know, save those who are refusing yeah. refusing gnomes admittance into your house is like the <laughs> biggest disrespect to a gnome ever. But like... when we first turned up at the manor, like Finches was a friendly guy, but Faps was a bit of a dickhead, I thought. Mm. He's just that kind of yeah. person, isn't he? You know, some yeah, people are a die. dickhead person. No, I'm not a dickhead. Some people, are, some people are jolly Kalon types, and some people are more serious types. Aren't it, they? it was a so, bit so, of a so, oh, okay. So Kalon was the jolly example. Who's the non-jolly example? I didn't want to be nasty <laughs> to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got him targeted too far. That's why. Okay, and that's supposed to be on. Uh... He was getting stabbed. All right, so does a 12 hit you, um, Daka? No, uh, my AC is 16. All right, second one coming at you. That one hits you. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Five points of damage. Okie dokie. Um, well, I'll pretend I All right, Faps is going to swing at the, uh, at the one that is um, unconscious. Four. I mean, thank you, Faps, because, like, honestly, I can't take another four-hour argument about what to do with him. Everyone else is dead. And that one's dead. <laughs> no qualms from Faps. Instant death. <laughs> I raise my head slightly while I'm uh, watching the worm get dismembered by Daka and... Uh flinch a little bit as he's, Faps uh, he's, executes he's... the sleeping uh, cultist. Okay, so Faps, Faps is pretty pissed off, right? Because first of all, one of his buddies just got eaten in half, one of the guys from his military unit, and his brother's missing. So he's going ham on these guys any way to get his brother back. Yeah, it's quite reasonable. I think he's quite reasonable. No, he's very much unreasonable. I think he's a total fapper, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he, he, he's, he's both and reasonable he's and a knobhead. Yeah. <laughs> a reasonable knobhead. Oh, I believe yeah, that's a hit, Demetrio. It is, yeah. Oh, shit. Five points of damage, second attack. These daggers are pretty nifty with their double attacks. 14, no. 14, no, no. no, no. Okay, Little Jimmy's up next. Little Jimmy <laughs> has just seen his hero, Daka, um, <laughs> take out the blood the, 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 the blood leech, right? Daka, Daka told him, hey, I want you to stay here. He agreed. Daka charges off into the, into the, uh, to, to the west of the cave and proceeds to unload 73 rounds into, into this blood leech, um, somehow knocking him prone. <laughs> Don't know how that happens, but somehow, and they met somewhere in the middle, getting an advantage on the next attack. So uh, little Jimmy um, is pretty pissed off that this that this uh, fanatic here decided to go after his buddy Daka. 
So he moves here and he's gonna take a sling attack at this oh, nice. uh Go at on, this, little uh, Jimmy. At this Easy. Quit. Get him, Jimmy. Kill him. Oh my god, what if he Oh he's oh, rolling out! Almost! Let's fucking go, he's badly injured as well. Kill him, Jimmy, kill him. Oh has he got him? Jesus. He reloads oh, his little Jesus. sling and he takes a second strike. Oh! <laughs> yes! Get him, little Jimmy! He's yes! very adept oh with this little sling, guys. He's yes! very adept. He's like a pure slayer. <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Natural born Max killer. damage every attack. <laughs> Murdering little Jimmy. <laughs> Natural born killer. <laughs> And he oh, looks yeah. over, right? And he just he, he plows two right into this guy's forehead, right? <laughs> just, I mean, this, you know, little Jimmy's balls grew three size that day. And, <laughs> and, and he just goes out of there, slings into him and looks at him and goes, Holy shit, Doc, did you fucking see that, man? Who needs a fucking crossbow, man? You got to go to a fling. <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri, you're up next. <laughs> Like, spurred on by everything that's going on around me. Uh, the battle haze is is high, the intensity is high, and I'm full of rage and blood. And uh, I'm right at home. I feel I feel really nice, and I feel at home. And uh, after uh, being attacked by this guy, I'm going to savagely swing my axe back at his head. Oh, nice hit. And I'm gonna do some damage. Oh, oh, bitch. oh <laughs> my god! And then I'm gonna get slightly aroused by the smell of blood spraying all over my face. <laughs> slightly aroused? <laughs> like in a war kind of aroused sense, you know. Like... <laughs> As a war boner, you know. Yeah, no wonder he only wears leather armor, right? Uh, <laughs> Nothing quite like a war boner. I don't. Re I don't have any like <laughs> decent bonus action now. Now I've lost my Hancock, so I don't really have any bonus actions. That's but correct, brother. Can I? Can I like dodge out? Where is my Hancock on the floor over here? One, two. It's like three, sixty foot away. Four, five, six. We're gonna see it's right here next to that. No, no, no. There was the first one, yeah. No, the first one was like here. How do I ping again? The first one was like here, wasn't it? Yeah. So we'll say it's right here. Because it would have flown past him. That's too far to get. Yeah, I'll just Oh I forgot to use my uh my extra attack on my spiritual weapon. Uh I don't have I I literally don't think I have anything else. I've got like second wing and all that sort of stuff, but I don't think I need it, so I'm, I'm just gonna call that turn. Huge. No, damage. I have a second spiritual weapon out uh, more that uh, the priest can use as a bonus attack. Mm. Yeah, go for it now. Yeah. Yeah, it's only it's only Faps who can. No, I'll wait till I'll wait till <laughs> the very end. I'll, I'll move it at the at the very last. Okay, that blood cultist is still asleep, Flargle. Oh, it's me? Yep. Four At the end of this four. combat round, we'll take a quick, uh, what, 10 minute break, boys? This is our two hour mark. No, all right. Uh, okay. Cool. Whatever, whatever um, uh, walk around the block with the dog takes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do I stab be stab the near dead one? Or do I go for the priest? It's entirely up to you, brother. I think you'll be at disadvantage, right? Because someone's attacking you. If you, I'm if not you dying, mate. I'm a, I'm a hero. I'm just, I'm a hero. Right. I just I'm just gonna, it. I'm just gonna stab, you, stab this one. Then. Is he nearly dead? Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Stab, you, stab. Where's my dagger? Same place. Oh, um, yeah, Sam, on your weapon, on your inventory. Should sneaky get stomp on his head. So that's what you should do. Yeah. And then move away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that strikes. 
Everything's like sneaky in D&D, isn't it? Yeah, so, I'm assuming that doesn't kill him? That does not. So, can I then use the Fury of the Small now? Yeah, because you've rested overnight, right? So it's still available. Yeah. Whoa. When when you damage, you can cost to attack to deal extra damage. Yeah. Use the ability. So. So two three, po How many? So three points. Yeah, I'm level three. Okay, so. Little Dadle, or I'm sorry, little Flargo Snarp, you just see it, man. He just friggin', he rams that little uh, uh, dagger right into his friggin' groin, right? Not, not into his Johnson, but into his groin area, and then just starts, <laughs> just starts carving around then, in there. Then, then, no, 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 I, I, I jab in once, and then as, him, as I see him falling to his, to his feet, uh, falling to his knees, I just start slashing uh, in his face <laughs> until he perishes. Wow. The murder goblin. Furious. Furious goblin. And then I spit on him. <laughs> okay, Elam. <laughs> Bit unnecessary yeah, title. I spit wow. on him. <laughs> no. Totally <laughs> necessary. Deserved. Elam takes a swing oh. and misses the uh, blood fanatic there. All right, swinging at uh, Faps. Mm, poor old Faps. Faps is he's tanking it like a pro, dude. No, oh, he does tank it. Yeah, he's good to go. Wait, all right, wait. that's the end of that combat round. Let's take a quick break, gentlemen. Oh, that Morris. was the bonus. That was the uh, yeah. Yeah, that thanks. was the one that I missed. His bonus action. Yeah, yeah, he didn't use the bonus action before. Yeah. Oh, back. Right. Glorious. Right, we'll be back in five, ten, twelve minutes, Dadel. Uh, something like that. Yeah, go. Hit it, hit yeah. it, hit it. Let's fill your glasses. Fill your glasses. Sounds good. Yep, I shall be right back. Hey, it's singing in. Hey, it's singing in. Let me see if I can try to catch up with Chadger. I got a lot of jack bulls here. Holy hell.
All right, so Plovac, as a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack against a creature within five feet of it. So we read that quite literally as, as your bonus action, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack action. Let me see if I can find some more questions here. Okay, so we'll 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 answer Elon later because I don't need to give any special details to anybody else. Well, they're away. So Elon is a footman. He's a basic one-shot guy. Yeah, as a bonus action. So you every every person gets a regular action or two regular actions in essence. Your move and attack. Your double move. Your attack and or dodge. Your attack. I'm sorry, your dodge and or move. I'm sorry, disengage. Um, and then a bonus action if you have the ability to perform a bonus action. Yep, an action, a bonus action, and a free action. So as a bonus action, you may move the weapon and attack with it. So as a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon. It doesn't say move the weapon or attack. It says move the weapon and repeat the attack. So that's how we're reading it literally. So if it says, so as a bonus action, so he gets a bonus action. So he's utilizing said bonus action. You can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack. Yeah, Ducky, he's going full loot goblin. Oh, it looks like Elion's got some loot. What's he got there? Oh, cheesy geez. bits. Cheesy bits. Wow. Living the dream. Oh. So like I said, we just chose to, to read it quite literally and we're just going with it. Literally. One quite million, literally. One million percent. I uh I don't know I'm gonna post I'm gonna post uh, a picture in Jimmy's Discord. Uh oh. And uh Oh good lord. Of what? Uh, of my vision in uh, oh. <laughs> in the first round of this game. This is what it's like playing D and D with Elliot Dadel and Jimmy. <laughs> is it just a black screen? <laughs> yep, yep. That's pretty much what I had. It's like it's your turn, Jimmy. What do you want to do? Like... Well, see, but that's so. That's the toughest part, right? Is I want to put light on the map so that Dadel and Eliod can see where the enemy's light source is. But when you do that, it doesn't matter what's, it matters what's in, way, in the way of your view, not what is in the way of the light source. So you can literally move ahead and see whatever is in your view ahead. Uh, I can't Technically, wait. Technically you're in the dark. Can't wait for a full black screen, lads. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, the full black stream's pr pretty grim, isn't it, to be fair? Oh, <laughs> uh, sure, Sam, what do you want to do? Uh... <laughs> just wait, uh... just wait till they come towards us, Timmy, just wait. Wait, wait. hope I don't die. I'm a fighter, I'm not a waiter. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> well, just think about it this way, Dimitriov. As soon as you get into an above ground activity, you're going to be good to go, brother. Remember the mm. boars, Dimitriov? Remember the boars? <laughs> that, that was at night time as well, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> that was at night time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we couldn't see shit then either. Because <laughs> you were worried about you were trying to hide from the boars. <laughs> and then there was the, the farmhouse fight, Dimitrov. You came in, the, you came up, and when they finally told you something was going on. <laughs> can, can I just say that this I've is been... the only party that doesn't alert each other to action? Can, can I just say I've been absolutely stellar today. I've I've been hacking and slashing 
and having the time of my life. And uh, uh, none of these boys have been like, oh my god, you're amazing, Dimitriov. <laughs> you know, come on. We're in the middle of combat. We've not time to praise each other yet. We've got to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get what you're saying, Plo. Like, uh, the, what's he called? The, uh, the... The Blood Priest didn't do, didn't use a main action, did he? Oh, no, no, he, his main action was like casting a spell. What, what did the yeah, Blood Priest do? Yeah, he shot Data with some bolt and missed. Yeah, something. so then the and then the bonus action was the attack. He didn't attack twice with the uh, he didn't attack twice with the spiritual weapon. No, we just but we decided wait, that we were just going to read it literally because I don't want what I don't want to do is play D and D reading every single website that's out there, right? All right, so I was talking about casting it. You cannot cast it as your standard action. You can only cast it as a bonus action. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh really? Oh uh, really? Uh, oh uh, uh, yeah. It says one bonus action, so. No, but what does that what what does one bonus action mean though? It's like me Hancocks, isn't it? They're a bonus action. But does does so on the um list of tags that the thing has, it has second level and VS, five feet square, blah blah blah. It also has Oh also one minute. So does that mean it only lasts for one minute? Yeah, so yeah. it's like it's counting down currently. Yeah. Uh, but it also is one bonus action. I thought it said one bonus action because you could use a bonus action with the spell. Or does that mean that the spell itself is a bonus action? The casting the spell the itself spell. Is, a, is a bonus action, and it can't be. You can't trade it as a normal action. You can only cast it as a bonus action. Right. Oh, so, but so does that mean I can cast a normal action spell and this spell as a bonus action? Yeah. Yeah. So you can just bless and spiritual weapon turn one. Right. Oh, the bless. So so, so <laughs> instead of we will we'll just yeah okay that's fine so okay if that's. Doom's got a hard on for these blessings. So, so, in, so instead bless of bless is pretty uh, strong, especially it, on level four. Bless becomes a lot stronger because that's when bless that's becomes when, a lot stronger, higher. Yes. Well, well, because then I'll get my uh, then I'll get my sharpshooter, and then sharpshooter gives you minus five to hit, but you do ten more damage. Yeah, and you're basically hitting on tens anyway. Oh no! This is on. Oh no! This is on. <laughs> oh, you can't cast two spells a turn, okay? It's completely wrong. What? Yeah, exactly. So you said you can't cast two spells per turn. Plo. So oh, you can, can do a cantrip. So you could do a cantrip as your main action. So right. you could do the can So it is a spell. A cantrip is still a spell, isn't it? So you could do a cantrip as your main action, and then... Is the, the blessed cantrip, or is it? Oh, a, I can the... knob a fucker with or, me. Or, or, mace. A cantrip technically is not a spell; it's a cantrip. I right. can hit. I can hit somebody with a mace and do that. But the... what? The bless is a cantrip, is it? No, no bless, bless is not is a cantrip. <laughs> bless is level one. All right. Yeah, Jesus. It's still God a spell, damn it, damn it. isn't it, Plo? It's still <laughs> a spell, isn't it? We're good, we're good, boys. I'm giving you guys more than enough to fight, and and both sides are getting the same bonus, so we're fine. You cultist <laughs> wanker. <laughs> life, life is good, ladies and gentlemen. Life is good. Oh no, this is good. Yeah. Sit back, sit back, and enjoy the ride. It's just not. It's not. It's not clear for me from the information I'm given. Yeah. So my experience is that I'm a spell is friend. an action. You're casting a spell. It's an action. Yeah. Right. The spell you cast, and I may be interpreting this wrong. I'm fine with that. Just so everybody knows, I'm fine with that. The spell you cast carries a bonus action as the spell is written. And that bonus action says, as a bonus action, you may move it up to 20 feet and attack with it. Yeah. So undoubtedly, you know, this is, this is again, we're going, we're going back to Games Workshop and 53 different ways to write. You can use more than one uh, reroll on a turn, right? And nobody still agrees with it. I mean, it just is what it is. We go one way or we go the other. I'll go either way. I figured since we already let Elliot do it that one way, we would just do it that way for the rest of the campaign and we'd be happy go lucky. I, ju I just checked the internet and the internet says, yes, it's a bonus action to cast the spell. Yes. 
and you cannot uh, change, you cannot trade. I the thought internet you could, is never wrong. I thought you could trade that for a for a normal action, which is what I looked up, and then it said you can't. If it says bonus action, you can only cast as a bonus action. So, yeah. Okay, so f from now on, we can we can know we know now. That's know fine. What. So instead of yeah, so instead of it being your normal action, you would just cast it as a bonus action. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Cool. But you could still cantrip as your as your normal action. You could yeah, or or maybe stab somebody. someone. Yeah. Or, or run. Start, well, no, you don't stab. You mace. Dash. Oh, <laughs> mace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You club. <laughs> you could. Mate, dash when you say mace, I always think of the. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's only a of mace. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what that's what Steve Aston meant okay, when he said it kind of is going to take a swing at fast. <laughs> He's got his, his his double dagger blows coming out. Mm. Are right, we back on you? Yeah? Oh yeah, we're back on. Yep. That hits. Oh. Poor Faps, man. He's going up. He's going down. He's going up. He's going down. He's getting lit. Hey. All right, that one misses. Elliot, give me a perception check before your turn. Perception oh, check. Whoa, <clears throat> here, come, here comes the real worm. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What's the real worm? Fairly perceptive. Very perceptive. Okay, Elliot, there is movement behind you coming down the uh, hallway as well. Be behind me is in, like, to the north? Or... Exactly. Where, where the ladder is. Area. Oh, I'm okay. gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. Um, I'm just trying to see how I would rule this. So you're in the din of battle, so you can't really discern the type of, of movement. You just there's something coming down the hall behind you. There's it's not soft, it's not loud, it's not trying to hide itself. It's there's just movement coming down the hall again. Okay, so my turn. I, I. You know, I, I, I get Daka's attention. I, you know, grab him by the back of his knee or something. It's not, it's not little Jimmy. It's me, Elliot. There's, there's some noise. There's some noise behind us. And then, given that I'm a healer and not a fighter, I run away. Uh, <laughs> over here, and I cast. I, 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 having attempted and failed. Oh, I, yeah, I meant to say this. Having attempted and failed to save Omar, I am. You know, mentally destroyed. You know, to be honest, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm shocked. This is the first ally that I've seen. You know, fall before. As I'm, I'm not really a healer, as it happens anyway. You know, I'm, 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 I'm an engineer. I'm, I'm somewhat here by mistake, and my, you know, my mental state is, is shattered. But I, I just about keep it together. I realize that Faps now is in danger, so I move down to Faps. I cast, um, cure. Oh, well, hang on, hang on. Uh, I cast Cure Wounds again, uh, as I did on Omar. I hope this doesn't mean he's going to get his head chopped off. <laughs> <laughs> at, at level one. Mark of death. <laughs> Elliot secretly Ooh. with the cultists. I, 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 I take, I, I, again, I make physical contact with the Faps, and I, and I try to, to channel the channel the power of the chief engineer to create this healing surge but my my mind is still reeling my mind is still reeling from from what i've just seen and i and i don't do a you know i i can't get the usual strength in into the heal uh oh and then the bonus action of course i move the um magic cog the cog of the chief engineer towards the priest and then bat him <laughs> I attack with a cog. Oh, beautiful hit. Lovely. Again, the cog cracks the priest on the side of the head and the priest stumbles slightly. And a, and a decent amount of damage is done. Four. And that's my turn. All right, Daka, you're up. Mmm. This is very interesting, isn't it? Um, super interesting. If I if I'm stood here, oh, no, never mind. 
Okay. He can only go 30 in attack, can't he, this priest? Yes. So I can stay out of range of him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not telling you anything about somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, uh, if I go here... Can I shoot this guy kind of unobstructed? Is that fine? Because I'm like next to the other guy, right? Is that okay? I'm already with 30 anyway. Right, I'll go here and I'll shoot the uh, I'll shoot the priest fella. I'll shoot the priest fella. Yeah, that's 30. Boom, crossbow. Oh my god. Oh. Diced. Um, yep, just misses him. That's... I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to conserve my dice. Naka finally missed an attack. <laughs> Diced. <laughs> um, we'll have another shot at him, though. Bonus Check action. and make sure. Check your special ability. Just make sure it doesn't say if you hit with the first. No, it's... it's. I'm sure it Just isn't. check for me. I can't, I for will, some reason... I will check. I don't think that's right, but just check it for me. Uh, when you use an attack... Action and attack with a one-handed weapon. You can use a bonus action to attack with a hand Perfect, thank crossbow you. you were holding. I thought that's what it was. For some reason, something stuck out into my head, like if it hits, but I, I didn't think that was correct. No, he can. He can. He just. He just rarely misses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's pretty much it. Pew. Four. Oh, there we go. There's Four. a critical hit. Four. The, the critical doesn't double the uh, superiority dice, right? No, does not. No. Only damage from basic weapon. Oh. Or base weapon, I should say. Oh, shit. I've, uh... Oh, I shot it again instead of doing the damage on the thing. Oh, I'm an idiot. What are you talking about? I don't see that. I literally can't. Oh, you know, you just clicked it. Just hit... It's okay. Just hit damage. And it should give you the uh, the uh, uh, option to roll critical. Yeah, I can't. I'm going to have to attack again. Just hit attack again. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Just hit the damage. <laughs> oh, clear to one, baby. <laughs> right, clear critical. To one. Nine, glorious. <clears throat> Pew. And then uh, that's me done. Good job on rolling the. <laughs> Good job on rolling a twenty and not a one. <laughs> oh shit. The blood priest takes off down the uh, down this tunnel and he's gone. Motherfucker! He is off. Oh, you guys can see in the dark. We, we can. Hmm. I said that, didn't I? Did I not say that? It looks like a little passageway. I thought you meant like down at the bottom. <laughs> the blood the blood fanatic uh, swings at uh, at uh, Faps again. Two strikes with his dagger. First hits. <laughs> Gotta keep him alive, man. Ooh, almost a one. Did you see that? <laughs> These freaking fanatics, man. They're they're pretty sushi chefs. <laughs> He's tough though, isn't he, Faps? He's he's taking it. <laughs> he's, he's, you don't hear that term very often. <laughs> All right, Faps is gonna swing at the one that just swung at him. Can take his beats. Mm. A very durable fapper. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh wow, that's his second one in a row. Okay, so I am gonna have him in this case because he's got two enemies with him. He's definitely going to drop his second weapon again. And I'm going to have him, um, since he's so close, I'm going to have him make a dexterity check to see if he stumbles. We're just going to make it, we'll make it a DC 8. It'll be relatively easy to pass here. <clears throat> which, one, which one just attacked Faps, by the way? The one directly, the one directly south of him. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You can see on the it, combat tracker. He yeah. just takes it. So he, man, 
He maintains his ground, but he currently has no weapons in his hand. All right, little Jimmy is going to pull back. His 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 momentary uh, uh, moment of strength. <laughs> Can I shout, "Come here, little Jimmy!" Just to watch what the hell's going on. I'm sorry. Can I shout, "Come here, little Jimmy!" <laughs> if you if you want to wait till your turn, yeah. Oh, nice. Dimitriov, you're up, buddy. All right, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to attack this one directly south of me. Uh, with my massive axe. So having seen Faps absolutely failing as a human being, <laughs> I'm uh, gonna go, I got him, brother! As I steam in with my great axe. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's little Jimmy. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't little Jimmy, that was me. Uh, I think... All right, 17 hits. And you hit the one directly below him, right? No, no, below me. The one below you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because he's attacking. Yeah. Target the cultist. What cultist? They're all cultists. Five points what, of the damage. One, the one you're hitting. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah, right, right click on him. Oh, sorry. That's what. He double clicked. <laughs> do it. Do it yet? <laughs> <laughs> Just one click, Dim. One click. There you go. So, there you go. I mean, the only bonus action I've got is the uh, second wind right now, so there's no reason to do that. So we'll enter turn. I need my handcocks, man. I feel naked. Okay, that blood cultist is still asleep. Flargo snap. Where did the uh, boss man run off to? Down there. Down, down south? There. No, you're down there, like down the. Elliot's pinging. Oh, down there. Yeah, you know the cave that I said that I thought was there and you were uh, like, I, ah, didn't, I, like, I thought I didn't you meant really... down there. Yeah, I also thought you meant down south. Oh, yeah, yeah, very convenient. What, you were oh, specific literally, enough. It literally said down, and two of us. Oh, it's down. It's down. It says, Use your yeah, words, Dimitri. Down Dimitrios. a level. <laughs> Use your words, Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, did we, we agree that I can execute sleeping people? We did not. <laughs> did we agree? No, I, we I did not agree yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, <laughs> no, don't I shouldn't say it. that. I'm not here. No, no. I meant, I meant like. I mean, I have eyes. Faps is one of us, right? So Faps killing them is totally different to like one of us executing it. Like him killing him, like you know, flailing around with his terrible attacks, killing a, a sleep guy is is totally different to like our party executing a prisoner, isn't it? I mean, it's uh, it's from my perspective, uh, it's still the same response, but obviously. Yeah, Eli Elliot's not happy with Faps right now. <laughs> yeah. But he did try to in here. And I'm taking a stab at this guy. Okay, so move back one. Or no, you're good. I'm sorry. You're good. You're good. I apologize. Yeah, because he would have gone around. It's just the way Yeah, he, he, he went around. Out. He's good. Nice. 22. Roll for damage. If only I was clever, I would have seen that. Oh, we're gonna go after him. Yeah, I'm sure. yeah, we're definitely running after him. After we've. Uh... But what about little Jimmy? No, I don't. About whatever's up here. <laughs> Jimmy's fine. He mate. can come. Whatever's he's behind stronger, us. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, my turn is done. Wait, no, I can disengage uh, with the nimble escape. With with your bonus action, you can disengage and then move away. I mean, judging by our performance so far, I think little Jimmy should be on the front line. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Alright. Did I press enter? Yeah, no, no not yet. Alright, Elon is up next. He's going to strike the one that uh, Dimitriov is striking. That he's going to. He's 
Kill steel and bastard. <laughs> Kill steel. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> These NPCs have been fairly mediocre. Offensively. Yeah. Wait, when you say fairly mediocre, that's the most generous comment I've ever well, yeah. heard. I mean, look, like, Faps has been poor on the offense, but, like, he's taken so many hits. Like, he's tanked yeah. pretty well. That's, that, yeah, that's because, well. like, he has actual stats like the other guy we got we got a guy with 16 hp where the least hp one of our opponent has is 35. Like okay so <laughs> he misses he misses the attack as well um i'm gonna roll it's i'm gonna, I'm gonna really have him instead of dropping his weapon i'm gonna roll him for a stumble as well we're gonna give him a dc 10 on this what's the dc 10 Dex, sorry check got a roll of 10. dc is a uh the check the score Ah, no, was it? Okay, so he he maintain he ma he manages to maintain his feet. Good on you, lad. Mm. <gasps> oh, what? What? Oh no! Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, I hope he doesn't eat little Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, there could be worse people to eat. I mean, there, there's okay, a He rolled a six on his initiative, here. which is what I was rolling. So that's why he's moving literally last. Wow. But last also means right now. <laughs> no, he's just moved. Correct. Like That, uh, that is him. That he is moves his over. Oh, okay. To right here, and he starts eating the other half of poor Omar. <laughs> he just starts... He goes where where the shoulders are cut off, and he starts to just. He, he, now he's down to his friggin' waist, right? He's got this thing in its mouth, and he's just going ham on this thing. They they said the worm must feed, though, right? Like these are multiple worms, mm -hmm. which suggests either you know poor use of grammar, or there's one giant worm. Or they're not in grammar. Or. Whatever it is, who knows? Just poor grammar. They're just they're just fucking yeah. cultist wankers, cultist, aren't they? Cultist, true, true. cultist wanker grammar is not trustworthy. <laughs> it's pretty wank. Well, maybe you wouldn't say the worm must feed because if you said the worms must feed, like we might think garden worms and not be intimidated. Yeah, okay, so I mean, well, I, I did think garden worms anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> this blood fanatic now. Strikes at uh, strikes at Dimitrov or tries to strike at Dimitrov. I'm gonna duck it. I'm gonna duck. And I'm gonna uppercut him. <laughs> oh, I don't not. not duck. I do not duck. Yeah, I duck into his uppercut. <laughs> I can roll for everybody, but the uh, three more points of damage, Dim. All right, calm down. Okay, everybody but the NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't change. My All right, that hey. misses. Okay, Elliot, you're up next. With my, in my shaken state and with my magic reserves uh, deplenishing, ah, man, but Faps is almost dead. Um, well, he's not almost dead. He's li literally not almost dead. He's <laughs> that badly injured. Um, no, I was going to head into combat, but perhaps not. Perhaps, yeah, my my, my healing urges, you know, take take over. I see somebody in need of healing. So Elliot gets aroused from healing, right? Urge to heal intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot's arousal shows in his healing abilities. I cast Cure Wounds at level 1 on Faps. Despite my uh, my, my, my urge to heal those uh, in need overcomes my, my personal distaste for the man. <laughs> my personal distaste for the man. And and now I, I, I you know, although my psyche is damaged, I summon some reserves of of you drop your hat mentality and uh you know and, and, and some some life force flows through through faps. Uh, bonus action, I move the cog uh, towards the melee and I guess I'll move
over towards the sleeping cultist. And that's turn. Mm. With intent okay. to defend him from any mal... With intent um, to stop Jimmy, little Jimmy, slitting his throat. <laughs> <laughs> or braining him with a sling. <laughs> All right, Daka, what do you got left for one more blood leech, brother? Right, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna shout to little Jimmy and say, get behind me, little Jimmy. Wait, if, did you move your, uh, did you move your sword, Elliot? He did. Okay. I did, yeah. Um, My cogwheel. Yeah, yeah, sorry, it's a, it's a picture of a sword, isn't it? I'll, 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 shall I draw a cogwheel for you? Sure. This is the. Uh, there it is. Oh, glorious! <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll shout to little Jimmy. I shall say, "Get behind! Get behind me, little Jimmy!" <laughs> um, and hope that he'll do that, so he doesn't get killed by this thing. Um, right. I'll just. I'll just. Sh I'll just shoot. Just start shooting at this worm. Conserve things until. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, okay. I can bonus action then move, right? Yes. Okay. So we'll shoot. You can we'll do shoot. Whatever you like in whatever whatever order. Okay. Well, let's just shoot it normally. Pew. All right. Nineteen. Pew. Six damages. And. Uh... I like how everybody rushes to hover over him to see how injured he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> T target the worm. Yep, yep. Um, boom. Oh, yeah, that's, that hits, doesn't it? Sixteen. That hits, yes. It's still a rather large leech, even though I didn't let him <laughs> fall over. He has a very low armor class. <laughs> Not very low, but low. Right. Seven. So, yep, seven damages. Not bad. And then I'll move back a little bit. Just so he can't, uh, he can't get me in combat. Hopefully, hmm. Yep, yeah, that's good. All right, blood fanatic, swing in again on uh, on um, on our boy above you there, Faps. <laughs> He's trying to kill Faps. That's so bad. Yes. Yes. Oh, Finally, my God, dude, I've never rolled so many ones in my life. <laughs> All right, he'll drop his weapon. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let me give him a dexterity roll. We'll make it a DC ten for him. Okay, he maintains his feet but has no weapon, so he does not get his second attack with that. Faps will swing at him, seeing his uh, his his moment of opportunity, but he's swinging at him weaponless. So he's just going to start, he's, he's, uh, he's just going to, he's going to swing his fists at him. I'm glad you said fist. And I wonder how you would, I'm just going to roll the 20, because I don't think they have a, uh, a weaponless attack in this. So a six plus his strength plus three nine. So he does not hit. He'll swing a second time. Oof. That time he hits. So one d four plus his uh, uh, critical plus Glorious. his strength bonus. Glorious. So seven fire. plus. So 13, so he knocks the living piss out of him. <laughs> I'll go back and I'll add a, uh, uh, I'll add a, a macro to be able to do weaponless attacks in the future. Okay, so little Jimmy here is Daka and you said get behind us. Mm. Or no, you said get behind you. But the mm. problem is that there's two cultists between the two of you. Hmm. So I'm going to let you determine how he's going to interpret your action or your your order. Um, I think you should Where go south until he clears them, and then yeah, and then uh, you know whatever the other one is west. Okay, he'll do thirty. <laughs> this is he, he would have come across here, so he'll do thirty feet right up next to Eliad. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> All right. 
Meteor, I'm you're up. <laughs> Channeled by rage at the sheer incompetence of Elan <laughs> and Faps, I am gonna throw my wow. axe down at the uh, the guy in front of me. You're gonna throw it? Well, like just cleave his head downwards, like. All right, so that obviously strikes. You're striking the one below you still, right? Yeah, yeah, same man. Perfect. Oh. oh, you've got him targeted. Thank you. That mm -hmm. makes my life a lot easier. Cool. And then uh, as a bonus action, I am going to... Uh, the second wind and try and heal myself. All right, so your second win comes out. Eight. So I am back up to the max health. Yeah, nice. And that is Dimitriov done. done. All right, Blood Cold. This is still how many? How many? What is it? One minute there, out cold. Um, it's a long or, time. I'm sorry. Yeah, one minute. So that's 10 rounds, so we're still well within that. Mm -hmm. Flargo, you're up next. Yep. Uh, that video just moved. Oh Sorry. shit, I pressed, I pressed was by accident. That <laughs> video <laughs> just moved. <laughs> I've got a clear shot at the uh, stupid thing. Oh. So I'm gonna shoot at the stupid thing. Four. Oh, another chromatic orb coming out, huh? Yup. Four. What an animation. Unfortunately, this one misses. Can I do anything about that? Have oh, you got an inspiration? Do you have inspiration? Oh. No. Uh, no, you can't then. Oh. Great turn, Dado. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Dimmy. It was like he's uh, turn 8 against Lungan in the challenge. Oh my god, Dimmy is yeah. so mean. Might Dimitriov well is very negative him. towards his compatriots. Seriously, man. I'm getting cheesed off, man. Like, do some damage, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, swings his battle axe and misses. Jesus, <clears throat> these guys can't roll for anything, man. I've literally witnessed Faps just throw two weapons away <laughs> and then punch <laughs> a cultist. <laughs> he's like, literally took a swing and he's like... <laughs> okay, that body's gone. The blood leech then immediately turns on this blood cultist and starts to eat him. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh god, it just heals itself back to full, probably, yeah. yeah. That's why I didn't use any dice in there, I thought it'd, I thought it'd heal itself, so... Well, no, it's because you've used all your dice, Jim, isn't it? No, no, I th well, that's me, but, you know, I've only got one, right? Two so, dagger like, strikes to Dimmy again? If it again? wasn't going to heal, I would have done it. That's a miss, I believe, right, Dim? 16, 16. Yeah, a miss. And a miss. And a miss. Glorious. So Dimmy's now getting his feet under him. He's starting to dodge, weave, bob, you know, little, uh, little colony. It's the anger. It's the anger. What? It's the anger. <laughs> I'm raging. I'm fuming at this point. I'm right, so angry. El Elliot the Numb, you're up next, my friend. Bonus action. The cogwheel moves in. It targets uh, the worst uh, injured cultist. Well, they're both. Badly injured. Yeah, know. but one's in orange and one's in yellow. Oh, is that color coordinate? Oh, okay. It is. Mm. Clever in orange, the one's in yellow. <laughs> did that dice roll? Yeah. Yes, it did. I, I, I don't can't know why see you're it. Not seeing it. I'm seeing your dice. Uh, what, what, I'm what, seeing your what, dice. What number was it? <laughs> 18. It was an 18. Oh, so get you get. <laughs> the cog makes solid contact with the base of the cultist's skull as it's busy engaged trying to defend itself against Fap's fisticuffs. <laughs> Did the damage dice roll? That did not. Okay. There we go. Four. Six damages. 
Oh, solid okay. contact, but not solid enough. The cold just remains alive, and uh, although I still wish to heal my injured colleagues at this point, my reserves of magic are so depleted that there's only one course of action, and I move in to try and finish the coldest. Well, finish him off, uh, Elliot. Finish him off. I had swing my mace at the at the knees <laughs> because I can't reach any higher. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing him off gives all new meaning. All right, a 22. Whoa. Nice hit. <clears throat> what a perform. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's a mild hit, <laughs> and it's not enough. Damn it. <laughs> the gold is to evade alive. You've done a shitload of damage, dude. You've done a shitload of damage. Well, don't worry. Don't worry, Elliot. I'll finish him off for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you finish someone off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go here. Run just over. don't roll a one because Faps is behind him. That's <laughs> all right. I'll, 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 I never roll ones. Um. <laughs> right. Oh, wait a second. Right. So this one. Um, let's attack him. Pyong. 26. Beautiful. Hits him Old in the head. Headshot, dead. Splats him to pieces. Brutally murdered by a head. Crossbow bolt. Get on bolt. the ground in front of you. Four. And then uh, shoot the other one as well, of course. Oh, give me a second. Boom, there we go. Beautiful. Four. Damage. Damage, my friend. Seven damages to him. Brutally wounds him, oh, and then uh, little Jimmy's there. So you know, I can even I can even go right next to little Jimmy. I've got a bit of move left, and I can say, "Don't worry, you're little safe Jimmy now." Is so happy Jimmy. to have your leg back. Yeah, you can you can have my leg back. <laughs> not really, not really. There's a leech over there. We've got to kill that first. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Only joking. <laughs> Okay, at this point, Faps is going to, since his target is uh, the one that he was engaging is dead, uh, he is going to reach down and pick up the one short sword that's here next to him. <clears throat> Little Jimmy's happier than, uh, than than a pig in mud that Doc has returned. <laughs> Dimitri, you're up. Finish your man off. Oh, I'm going to finish him off in the most glorious way imaginable. <laughs> And I, um, as I've as I've cleaved through his mate, I'm gonna go for a backhand pirouette, <laughs> uh, like sign that like, swing in with spin, you know, all the good stuff. Gonna give him a happy ending here. <laughs> yeah, like spurred on by Eliod's amazing like melee display <laughs> after the faps, like after the rage of last one. Elliot senses sarcasm and he casts a a, a, a glance with you know some aspersion over at Dimitriov. This is oh don't don't you jinx my dice. <laughs> he senses. <laughs> oh, beautiful un, hit. Give me the damage. Heard by Elliot's nonsense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, I, I just couldn't understand his. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. I, oh, mate, Jesus I am. Jesus like, Christ, Dim. I am in the battle. Like, I'd headbutt him if I could, but I can't. <laughs> like, you, know what I mean? oh, yeah, but you, you didn't have to headbutt him, dude. That axe swing came down, cleaved his right shoulder from his body. He's just. Blood is flying everywhere now, and you kind of look down and go, oh shit, but blood is everywhere. Just because you've seen what's coming next, right? Well, I, as a bonus action, I get a movement action, right? So yes, well, I, not as a bonus, but you do get your move. There's nobody um, with the Where is you. my Hancock? <laughs> is it is it here? Is it is it here? Or is it here? It's like back here somewhere. No, I wasn't. No, someone, <laughs> yeah, someone the rewind was the like, vote. Right? <laughs> yeah, but someone it went past him, Dim. It went past the guy. It went past him, Dim. It didn't bounce off his chest. <laughs> no, 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 no. The first, the the second Hancock is like down the bottom somewhere, but the first Hancock is. Yeah, off. one was over here somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Not here, that I'd yeah. help Dimmy find yeah, the Hancock anyway. The, the yeah. first one is like 
I don't know how Timmy finds this. I'll make you. I'll make you a deal, Timmy. Give me a perception roll, DC five. If you beat a perception DC five, then then it's at your feet. Go on, Dimitrov. Look over there for your Hancock. Perception. What's the DC five? This you try to five or more. Easy for a fight of your standard. There you go. Okay. Motherfucker. Let's go, Hancock. Let's go, Hancock. You can pick that up next round if you like. Oh my god. Yeah, the other one's down the bottom somewhere, like round here, like with, like yeah. All right, Flar uh, Blood Colt is still asleep. Flargo Snarp, you're up. Mm. I would run away. No. <laughs> I'm going to shoot at the buddy. Cool. Alright, that one hits. Give me the damage. Did it roll? Instead of hitting damage, hit versatile. See if that rolls the three dice. See if that's where... Oh. Well, hey. There you go. No, I just I just used a regular down no. there. <laughs> oh, you did? Okay, I'm, I'm not sure why the extra one isn't giving you the bonus. Did you Did you see one. how on 3d8 I managed to roll a 6? <laughs> yeah, well done, Dave. But, was, was, was this a level 1 or level 2? Level 1. This is level 1. R right, level because... One, he's only got level 1 spells left. The, the level 1 is correctly rolling the 3d8. The yeah, level no, it, 2... It, it, it wasn't. I... I, I I used the bonus field down in the bottom. Yeah, he just right he just again. rolled three d eight. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Well, like that. <laughs> I rolled a twelve though. <laughs> oh, that's average, isn't it? It's below average. No. Thirteen and a half, isn't it? Okay, Elam is going to take. Jesus Christ, guys. Elam uh, is going to take a defensive what? position in in front of uh, in front of Faps. And his, um, he's going to prepare an attack. If the blood leech comes near him or comes within range, he's going to attack him. He's going to miss, is what you mean. Let's just hope he doesn't lose his head. I really want them goggles. <laughs> okay, the blood leech takes his second feeding on this body, finishing him off as well. Whoa. They're doing a pretty good job of cleaning up. <laughs> yeah. Those rats are still there. <laughs> Wait, did he just lose health? Yeah, he's fully healed. Yeah, he injured by accident one second. Oh. No, he's fully he's fully healed now, isn't he? Should be. Oh, no, no, no. He, got... he was barely injured. He just went down to injured. Yeah, by yeah, mistake. yeah. Because so he, he, he took six from Flargal and then healed nine. So, yeah, he's, he should be. He should be fully healed. Yeah. And after he gets done feeding, you see that maw open back up. He kind of faces you guys, looking for the next set of blood. He completely ignores the other blood leech next to him. Good, because we need to cut open that to look for the goggles. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm with you, Demi. I'm gonna help you cut <laughs> carbon, whatever else needs to be. Bonus action: the cog moves malevolently towards the leech, and. Um... I move in behind Elan, um, well, ready to provide support, although my, my healing reserves are uh, mostly spent. And so I uh, target the leech and cast Sacred Flame. Oh, baby, here it comes. Oh, this is going to be super short. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Saving throw of 12, DC 12. <laughs> Oh, it's not that high, is it? Okay, uh, DC it might dexterity, be dexterous right? Yes, as well, yes, and yeah. a worm might be dexterous. No, a worm yeah. maybe, not a leech. Oh yeah, it's a leech. Oh, it's oh, dexterous oh, enough. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
yeah. <laughs> so the, the Sacred Flame, instead of it being more dexterous, it's simply, it's just, it's it's hide is thick, right? And the Sacred Flame just, while it singes it, 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 it looks as if it does no damage whatsoever. <laughs> All right, so I'll say, stay here, little Jimmy. I'll take care of this, and uh, we'll have a couple of shots at this blood leech. Time for Papa to go to town. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, nearly a one. That hits. Pew, pew. Six damages. I've, I'm running out of bullets here, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, you better be careful there. You're getting there, huh? Oh, 14. Hits. Oh, baby. Nine damages. Oh, that's me doing. Oh, no, it's not. I've got another. I could have moved back a little bit. How far do I move? 15. And get behind Daedal. <laughs> <laughs> what a prick. <laughs> daka, daka. I'll, I'll, I'll so, I'll so glorious. <laughs> Thank you, goblin friend. <laughs> All right, so so Faps reaches down, picks up his second short sword, takes up a defensive position right next to his man. Mm. Little Jimmy swings off behind Daka. Dimitriov, you're up. Uh, well, I believe I can pick up my weapon or I have picked up my weapon. Yeah, you can pick that up. That's your action. Do you know what? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, one, two, three. Oh. Are you gonna chase the, uh, Six. Yeah. chase the guy? And Goodbye, then... Dimitriov. <laughs> 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 so Dimitrov, just so you know, it's, he's had two full rounds of movement. Who has? The priest, oh, since right. he's gone down that tunnel. Oh, that's There's cool. been two turns since he left. And then I'm going to throw my Hancock at the uh, the leech. With, I, I guess it's a bonus action. Oh, hang on, let me target him. I'm just getting ready. Oh, diced. Diced. Okay, that one misses. Um, roll your dexterity check for retrieval. I'm getting fed of my teammates missing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's very rude, isn't it, Dadel? That Dadel? It's Elgon. a DC 12 to, re to retrieve it there, Dimitriov. Just uh, said the wrong word. Me, me Hancock's gone forever. Your, your Hancock is, is, is once again, you can, um, so it's not broken, it's nothing like that. Um, it's just that you were not able to retrieve it. You still hold the cord to it. You can attempt to retrieve it as a bonus action next turn. Oh. So you you yanked it, you missed catching it, and it's flown behind you, but still attached to you. I mean, I weren't going to do anything, lads, anyway, because I weren't even Largo Snarp, you're up. Uh... Why is he looking at all this stuff on the floor over here? I see your curses, Dado. <laughs> he probably has his character sheet here. open. <clears throat> oh yeah, maybe yeah. And that's what uh, dexterity. Yep. No constitution. Oh no, sorry, sorry. No, never mind. Never mind. All right, mind. so he <laughs> takes four points of damage. Oh. Hey. Yeah, Acid splash, splash hit, works baby. again. I've, I've splashed twice today. <laughs> Four. Four. What a time to be alive. Yeah. Okay, Elam looks over at um, at uh, um, Faps, and Faps looks over at Elam, and they both give each other a nod, and, and, and Elam moves in. Oh, God. Uh-oh. They're not the sharpest tools in the box, are they? <clears throat> Bye-bye, Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, that's 20, come on.
Why the hell can't I target him? Hold on one second. There's been no backflips really, Tano. Unbelievably. Dimi yeah. has resisted the temptation to... Uh... The, the time hasn't been right, you know, like... Really <laughs> had the been yeah, well, let me, okay, I'm going to roll a regular D20. For some reason it won't. I'm not sure who he's... Pure you know what? He might have had the uh, priest targeted before I yanked him off the board. Mm. There it is. Okay, there it is. So he, he swings with his battle axe and misses. Oops, he does. Okay, the blood leech turns at him, turns to him, and he's right there in front of him. And just, it goes for his tentacle attack. So the maw opens up, the, the, the big mouth, the, the five tentacles open wide. The nat 20 Do not eat his goggles. <laughs> Phew. And a 13 does hit. Uh oh. Have you noticed how, like, the cultists don't miss? It's just our pals that miss. <laughs> and then because he's hit, he draws him in and he gets his, 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 his beak or his tooth attack as well. Oh, man. The Greek. He hits. Oh, man. Worm-like monstrosity. Oh, I shouldn't look at its stats. Sorry, I just wanted to see what it was. I shouldn't look. I didn't look. Elliot, you're up, sir. Okay. Poor. And uh, poor Elam there is is fully latched. I mean, he <laughs> fucking deserves it. What a complete moron to run towards that fucking thing. <laughs> so I see what danger Elam is. Is I've already had one patient die. Before my eyes, the cogwheel <laughs> moves moves in as the bonus action and attacks and hits. I assume beautiful. Yep, that hit. It smacks the worm on the head? Question mark. One of the squidgy bits. One of it. One of his tentacles. One of, one, one of the tentacles. One of the squidgy bits. Oh, we got big choices here, don't we, Elliot? Yeah, well... Oh, shit. Uh, it's time, I think, to use the last reserves of my... of my, you know, spellcasting strength. And so I cast... Prayer of Healing, level 2. Oh. Elon is in such danger that I must... I must do something. Up to six creatures of your choice that you can see within range. Each regain hit points equal to 2d8. So I'm going to target Dagger and uh, mm -hmm. myself and Faps and uh, and Elan. Uh, I think we're the only injured characters anyway. Mm. I don't get blessed. I don't get heals. <laughs> so 16 points, I think, to everybody. Um... 16 points of healing to Faps and, and Daka and uh, Elan and myself. Oh, it's like so not remember, split, so you it's take just 16 and, and it issued out yeah, as you each... like. Oh, I thought it was remember, a each. It says each oh. regain heat points equal to. Yeah. yeah. Is, that your, is that the one you did earlier, right? No, I've not done this one. Uh, no, no, when, when, which... when, when you say earlier, how much earlier do you mean? <laughs> a couple sessions ago. Oh, so may, you, maybe. Person, okay, so. It, it's not my. It's not each my. Regain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Each yeah. regain. Yes. Each. Mm. Yes. And so, that, yeah. Did that also give you the bonus it was supposed to? It did. Yes. But it, it, okay. exactly. So it's not my child divinity. I think is what you're thinking That's about. That's what I was looking mm. for. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. I, I I realized with the child divinity, I can only heal people up to maximum of fifty percent of their HP. I didn't realize. Mm. So I was using that wrong before, and it's and I can't use that now. Well, I I could use it on Elan, but but nobody else. Yeah, but you didn't really use it. I don't think anybody was really overly crazy damaged when you used it last time maybe not yeah but i, I don't I, remember anybody being near death um did um did you guys put your hit points up 
I've put mine up. I've not yet. So I yeah, that the, the, my last reserves of of magical power flow through me, despite my 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 range from all of my targets. Healing energy surges out, and you know, faint faint lines again. A smell of ozone as the as the as the as the lines arc out towards my targets, and the, and the healing power flows through them. <laughs> <laughs> So COVID, yeah. So he gets his two D eight plus his bonuses plus his um because he's a uh, a cleric of light. Mm. So everybody recovers sixteen hit points that uh, that he targeted or yeah targeted identified. All right, and then is that it, Elliot? Uh, and then I I'll 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 move up. Shit, I'll move up behind <laughs> behind <laughs> Elon. <laughs> Let's hey, go. Do this guy. All right. Um, if I like move up to here, this is like unobstructed, right? The shot. I say again. If I move up to yeah, here, yeah, that, that would I would consider that unobstructed. That's yeah. good enough. All right, good. Um, so we run up to here. All you'd have to do is move one spot to your left, and it's definitively. So I'm not worried about it. All right, good. I will shoot this uh, big, leechy thing. <laughs> Hopefully it's in the face. One. That hits. Him. We're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna attempt to trip him again. <laughs> the classic tripping attack. So um Okay, right, so the, that six was the regular damage, right? Yep. Perfect. And then uh, trip attack. It says one special one creature, I don't understand. Say again. This trip attack. Oh, maybe I can't. Maybe I. Oh, wait, no. I'm. Maybe I can't trip it. No, I'm not targeting anything. Maybe it's because I wasn't targeting it. It's not letting me use the superiority dice on the menacing. Do you have any left? Thing. I've got one left. I'll just. I'll just do a menacing attack. <laughs> but it's a trip one. <laughs> That's so weird. It doesn't come up like standard roll for the. Uh, there's your trip attack. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Go ahead and hit the other formula there. There you go. Boosh. So five more damages. Minus five, and he and he is one inch closer to the ground. Yep, glorious. So now... Um, tripped? He he's, tripped. He's, tri he's tripped the slug. <laughs> he is tripped, so we will go the last ten feet of movement and then shoot him on the ground. Are you going to coup de grime? <laughs> yeah, writhing around on the floor. <laughs> His head's lowered. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to... Remember to roll with advantage. Oh, yep, yep, yep. So that gives us the advantage here. Boosh. That definitely oh, hits. Only just gets him, yeah. And then uh, hopefully this will kill him. Oh, fuck. Only five. Of course he rolls a friggin' one, right? <laughs> Comedy mega. Go on, Faps. Has Faps picked his weapons up yet? He's yes, got he one. Has both weapons. Oh, he's got both. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Go on, Faps. Is that it, Daka? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's me, Tony. Get him, Faps. <laughs> Alright, so he comes around the blood leech, the dead one. And then swings both of his uh, short swords at the at the live one. Four. Finishing off the blood leech. Well done, Faps. <laughs> I believed in you. <laughs> I, I believed in you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, dude. So he basically runs up and finishes off the last of the blood leeches. A sigh of relief fails. Elliot falls to his knees, <laughs> right from 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 the combination of 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 failed healing with successful healing with keeping everybody alive with his last vestige of 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 magical power and uh, and uh, energy and. And uh, intestinal, as as they would say in the WWE, intestinal fortitude. 
<laughs> he, fall, he falls to his knees, uh, letting out a last breath. A uh, last Jimmy, breath? Jimmy, I'm sorry? Not a last uh, breath, but, a, but a, a final, like a... A final oh. breath? <laughs> He you're, takes you're another. Dead, you're dead now. <laughs> dead. Dead now yeah. <laughs> Jimmy runs up, and better yet, Jimmy runs up to the dead leech, and pulls a little <laughs> dagger from his belt pouch and starts like not stabbing it, but like poking it. Like, is it dead, Doctor? Is that thing dead? Did you kill it? Is it dead? Hmm. <laughs> That's it. That's where you go. You look at him. You go. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, it's dead. It's dead, little Jimmy. Should we open it up and look for some goggles? <laughs> we need to carve it open for those night vision goggles. They're OP. Okay. Well, we 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 still have another another point of order, right? Yeah. There's this. Yeah. There's we this need to chase the idiot. There's the sleeping guy, and there's... Uh, two the, points of order, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah, Dimitri I was about to say, I was hoping you guys would forget about the sleeping one. No, no uh, we're, we're going to slit the throat of the sleeping one. We're not, nah, nah, making, nah, nah, nah. we're not making the same mistake again. Okay, so Faps walks over to the sleeping one, along with uh, his buddy. Okay, they can kill him. Good. And Faps pre proceeds to wake him from his slumber and just starts beating the tar out of him. Can I react? Absolutely, give me one second. Where's my brother? Where is my brother? Where is my brother? Let me give him, let me, uh, I'm gonna give uh, Faps a, uh, we'll say an intimidation check, and we'll give it to him at minus two because these are the hardened veterans here. Let me see what his response is, then Elliot, you may respond. This is at a minus two coming. So right away, the wakened from his slumber, from his, his magical slumber, he, he surveys the rest of the, uh, the field of battle. And he looks up and he, I mean, he immediately recognizes him, right? He knows who this is. He sees Faps and he points with a, with a, with a, with a shaking hand towards the altar back here. Oh, shit. Is there something anybody else wants to do, or are you watching this play out? Um, Can you just ping, ping, ping that again, please? Stop, stop, uh, Fabs. Oh, shit. So, what I'm going to do Fabs is... Stop, going over there. What I'm uh, going to do is, I'm going to think that, uh, you know, I'm going to see Fabs, right? I know that Fabs' brother is is Finch's. He's, I, you know, I guess that he's going to interrogate him. I know that Elliot doesn't like torture and stuff. So I'm going to be ready to react and try and hold back Elliot if Elliot tries to intervene with, uh, you know, all of this stuff. I, I think he's well within his rights to, like, you know, be a bit mad and stuff. <laughs> Elliot, did you want to drop your um, your um, weapon? Are you going to break concentration on your spiritual weapon? Oh, oh! I thought you meant my mace. Uh, no, I, I'd like to keep my mace. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I'll, uh, I'll I'll break concentration. Yeah. Just making sure there. Okay, so um, Daka is going to somewhat intervene, though we haven't seen that intervention yet. Elliot, anything? Yeah, so I I just I just move move over a bit, not with you know quite quite slowly. I don't move all my my intent. I think Dak can clearly see that I don't intend any physical or you know magical you know interventions. Not that I can cast any magic right now, pretty much. Uh, and I, and I say to I say to I say to Faps, um, you know what we have seen here is evil. You know the, these cultists they are sacrificing beasts and 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 men. Clearly, there is something quite dark and terrible going on. But more violence will not bring your brother back. Let's approach this with clear heads and try to find him. Uh, yeah, that's the best thing, thing for him right now. Dimitriov and uh, Dadal, anything? I, I I just want to move over here and uh, just have a little survey of what is on the floor in front of me. Okay, so Faps is, takes a sprint. He's going to move his foot. I'm going to treat this somewhat like combat as far as movement so we can't outrun you. His man holds down the blood cultist, putting his battle axe to his throat, not threatening to kill him, but more of a threat of like, don't get up. You know what I'm I mean? I'm helping him hold him down. <laughs> okay, perfect. Anything else from anybody else? 
sure you're helping him, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll move the rest of my movement to, towards the altar. So Faps approaches the altar and and is 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 kind of taken amiss by what he sees, right? So he's looking around, and there's it literally looks like this, right? There's there's a guard cut in half. It, it must be from from one of the caravans, maybe a. a, a, a a nobleman or a noblewoman's um, entourage, something along those lines. It doesn't recognize him, or at least doesn't doesn't feign, uh, doesn't uh, indicate recognition. He starts looking around the base of the of the uh, of the altar, and then he sees it, and you see him fall to his knees as he reaches down and he picks up what is left of a jerkin that was his brother's. And it's cleaved in half from the bottom up, right? So the top is, it's, so we, we hearken back to the vision that, that we saw, you know, three, four episodes ago, where two of the cultists were holding up finches while he was screaming upside down. And a priest took a large, large teardrop shaped ax and just cut him in twain from the bottom up, right? So, you know, imagine like holding a wishbone as the legs. And, you know, and, and he's, and, and Finches was almost doing a handstand, if you will. And that ax just came right down the center, tearing him in half and then throwing, throwing bits of the body at the blood leech. Um, you know, and, and, and it's obvious what has happened here. We don't, we don't have any, any parts that we know of, of him here, right? There's no head, there's no, um, we just know that, that with the look on his face that, that he has probably found his brother. Poor Faps. I'm just going to uh, walk up behind him and uh, just whisper some words of condolence in his ear. Like, so what nothing, do you say to him? Nothing too strong. Just like, this is pretty screwed up. Uh, eloquently putting on this. If there's if there's anything that I can do to help you, like I, I will help you. But I okay, so give that. me a give me a persuasion check here, with advantage, and I'm gonna say now this is gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a DC 18 to see what? if you're gonna stop what's gonna happen here. <laughs> what did you, did you say? Persuasion. Persuasion with advantage because he knows you're military. You know he's military. You're saying some of the right things. Uh, a 16. Okay, so Faps looks over at his man and simply gives him a nod and Elam raises his axe and beheads him right there. I searched the body. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We'll get to that oh in a second there, Holy shit, dude. <laughs> And you just see, you see, I mean, a, a, Faps, a steeled look comes down across his face. He looks at, at, um, at Dmitriov, gives him a nod, a thankful nod, but a stern, gruff nod. I mean, this is, this is one of those moments in life where a man might make a right or a left turn at a certain intersection, and he's definitely made the turn that he needs to make here. Upon noticing that, you know, upon seeing Faps move over to what remains of his brother, you know, my, my head bows, you know, my eyes are downcast. And then as he gives the order to execute the the, the, the coldest, I, I, I look up and I, I begin to move towards, towards Elan, but I'm mentally and physically exhausted. Yeah. I hesitate, and I consider that better battles can be fought on another day. Yeah, I'll put my hand on Elliot's shoulder and say, you know, forgive him. You know, he's it's 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 you know it's a bit of a bit of a situation, isn't it? <laughs> so Fap slowly walks back over to his man. Elin comes around the dead, the now beheaded body. 
he reaches down and cuts a, a, a small section of, of his cultist robes from him, just like a, taking a, a sample, if you will, and hands it over to um, hands it over to Faps, and Faps pockets it away. And they just start looking around, surveying the field. And then he looks back over at Dmitriov, and he's, he's not even regarding the others anymore, and he looks at Dmitriov. What's next for you all? We're going to chase after the guy that ran away. Mm. He starts walking away from Daedal, almost ignoring him. I... I... Yeah, I, I think we're going to head down here. Um, yeah, where the other is pinging. I, I, we, we will try and find the man that is somewhat responsible for your brother's death. Like, it's hard to know. Like, we, we need to figure out what's going on here. Like... I'm really sorry for your loss, and uh, we'll we'll try and put it right. I mean, obviously, we're never going to bring bring him back, but we'll we'll try to bring justice. Not to, so uh, obviously. <laughs> there is yeah, magic right. going over to the body. <laughs> Let this play out for a second. Okay, so um, Dimitriov, take um, take your um, inspiration for that. Hey. So he regards you. Personally, I mean, he's he, there's a connection here, right? I mean, you know, he's military. He knows you're military. Um, he was obviously the muscle arm of the family, if you will, right? He's not. He's not. Uh, he's not. Um, oh God, what was the brother in the Godfather who saw his father shot right in front of him? Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> right? I've never seen Godfather. One old. Yeah, I've, never never seen, okay. I've never seen it. It came Me out either. in '76. I cannot it. possibly spoil this. Fredo. He's not the Fredo of the family, right? <sighs> Spoilers, um, man. <laughs> sorry, hey, it's been 76. If you guys haven't seen it in 40 some odd years, I'm not responsible for this. So I mean, um, you're, you're not responsible for that, but you're responsible for ruining it. <laughs> so, so um, we're gonna watch it now just so it's ruined because of Jack Bull. Yeah, me too. Now that's a next thing showing. So he looks over at, uh, at Dimitri and just says. You boys look worse for wear. You need to come up to the manor. Let's get you guys rested for the night if you're coming back down here. These were the only two from my unit. The others are just regulars. They're not up for this. If this is what's down here, you're going to need more. Good shout. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, I thank you, Faps. Well. But first, let's get uh, let's get this uh, beak, maybe, from the uh, from this monster. Maybe some, like, you know... Uh, Maybe a segment. Maybe we should try and cut it open and see uh, see what it's been eating here. I wonder if there's uh, any, <laughs> let, any let, evidence let, inside. <laughs> well, we, 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 we have seen the scientific method has described how consuming the segments of the leech lead to increased physical strength. Mm. Should we not eat them? No, because we don't know what the side effects are, right? They we, have we've, we've eyes had, back and stuff. We missed dinner last night in the <laughs> manor. <laughs> And, for, and for, for, to, to say that we weren't allowed in the manor yesterday, what you know, what's changed? Oh, why oh why no. can we come in now? Well, we've just had a life or death battle with somebody, Elliot. You know that tends to that tends to forge a bond that you don't get from like some random and, people I turning mean, up on your doorstep <laughs> saying we're here to investigate I've, you. I've obviously thought like Fair differently uh, after after our interaction and he came down here after us to help us out so like he's excused uh, for uh, for the initial hesitation like having having come to his senses i march over to elliot and just backhand him around the face <laughs> ouch <laughs> ah. <laughs> My, the my, silver off his head. my my hat falls off. <laughs> like, this man has lost his brother. Have you no empathy? No. <laughs> I mean, he's a, he's a bit of a knobhead, to be fair. Like the brother was definitely the better of the pair, right? I, I, this, I, I, this, this guy I, was hostile to us from the moment we arrived. Side, I totally agree, but like it looks really great in front of him if we need him. For <laughs> Oh, I see. I I will remember this, Dimitriov, Just just for what it's worth. Although, <laughs> although I am a man of effects. a man like, of peace and healing, I've, that I've, healing can be withheld if suitable inclination is provided. Have some respect. He's just lost his brother. 
Right, so can I, can I like cut the beak off? Is, is that yeah, a so feasible are we, thing? Are, okay, oh so God, are, are, is there any other, before we, before we go after all of the, yeah, the booty here, search, is there any other interaction you want to have with, uh, with Faps at all? Oh, I think we've done enough fapping for today. Okay, because Fap, Faps is going to look at you and he's, he's I'm gonna, me and yeah. my man, we're heading, we're heading back up. No, 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 I just want to ask, have you ever come across anything like this before? Is there any reason for you to, like, understand where this is coming from or what it's about? Or, like, do you know about this? Listen, my brother's always been a pushover. God rest his soul. Or, I'm sorry, uh, 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 Purple Chest, rest his soul. I've always needed to look out for him. I didn't think we were coming here to, to, to lose one or both of our lives. Obviously, he's the one who lost his life, and I will be paying for that for the rest of mine. I was hoping we would find our aunt or some inclination of her and that we would move on from here. I didn't think this was going to be anything more than a simple, foolish stopover for his delusions of grandeur of becoming rich beyond his wildest dreams. And then, in a matter of months... I, I'm, I'm forced to believe that not only have I lost my aunt and three of my cousins, but also I definitely know that I've lost my brother. I will be back down here, and I am going to clear this goddamn thing out, uh, this purple chest damn thing out, one way or another. With or without your help, or with or without the help of Kalon and his lackeys back down there in Victa, I am coming back down here one way or another. But it's not today. Yeah. You got anything, Jim? No, Dakar will just like just you know just nod his head and be like you know yeah that's uh, that's we're on, totally on board with that you know like it's fair enough you know we'll we'll be here. Thanks for the hospitality, and we'll uh, we'll help you out tomorrow. If well, and when you get out of here, watch that friggin' cave mouth there. Don't get jumped by these things. Mm. I'll be yeah, we have band. to. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was also gonna say we're gonna have to take some evidence for Kalon, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stick around a little bit. But we will join you in the manor. Thank you. And Faps and his man walk off slowly. They pull out small lanterns again. They have their weapons at the ready, and they slowly start to make their way out. They're not walking jovially, or or they're they're very much ready for any action that might befall them moving out of here. Which way are they taking out? Back the way that y'all came in. Okay, interesting. Guys, I found something. The ladder. Mm. There's a ladder here. Oh. Oh. All right, should we um, have a look at that ladder and where it leads after we've looted the shit out of this? Yes. Well, I mean, if, if we're going to investigate that, we might as well follow the cultist, right? Like, sh the choice, I think, is investigate or go to the manor. I mean, the latter is easier. Like, that's going to lead upwards, right? And upwards is... Like, well, Jack Bull said, but uh, like, the guy was two turns ahead, so, like, he's probably gone. Yeah, we're not catching yeah. him today. We're not catching him yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. We and could so we could go up the ladder after. I think we should loot, and then we can either go up the ladder or go back yeah, to the manor. Yeah, loot, right? loot this whatever's whatever's left over here. Look, like we'll have a look and uh... yeah. Loot, 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 loot. Okay, so you find the equivalent of twenty-three gold pieces amongst the five uh, remaining bodies. Four. So what's that? Five or each? You guys can separate that up as much as you see fit. There. So I get twenty, and they all get one. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Six each and five from him from being a jackass. Okay, so oh, who, who, is, good, yeah. who is checking what in brevity? We don't have to go through. I'm going to check this guy's boots. I'm going to check. Just give me some ideas on what you're, what you're doing, what you're looking for. We're, carving, we're carving up the dead one for the night vision guard. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> Seeing what we okay. can get worm-wise for, like, evidence. And then uh, I think loot this scimitar here. Let's loot this scimitar. And... Uh, and yeah, just rifle the pockets, right? And I guess maybe. Okay, even... you've already rifled the pockets. You already got the gold. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're going after this blood leech first. Yeah, I think so. Okay, who's cutting it open? Um, maybe, maybe Dimitrov with his axe would be a good shout there for hacking it up. No, I'm gonna search the altar. You do the work. <laughs> All right, 
I'm gonna take out both my daggers and go to town. Fool. Okay, so you plunge your first dagger in hilt deep, right? Give me a constitution check at disadvantage. <laughs> okay. You plunge your dagger in and a gas ex it just shoots out of it. Not like explosive, just like you've pierced a, um, a bladder of some kind, right? Like an air bladder underwater almost. <laughs> And the most vile, dis disgusting smell of, of carrion and rotting and blood fills your nostrils. And you immediately turn around and everything that was in your stomach just empties out onto the floor. Hey, I'm used to this shit. I'm going to keep, keep carbon. Keep carbon. <laughs> Disadvantage. Oh, God. I'm throwing up. Ability check or save and throw? Oh. Ability check is fine. Okay. At seeing Fargle <laughs> Snarp lose um, what is what whatever was whatever was in his stomach all over the ground, combined with the smell, you turn around as well, and just I mean everything just heaves out. Right, you're you're down. It's so bad. This is the worst thing that you have ever smelt and seen at the same time. Oh. You're on your knees, vomiting everywhere across the floor. Oh. Elliot, you were not within the five foot radius of that little gas. Just that, it, it, it literally was the, the inner <laughs> of that worm just reaching, I, I wouldn't even call it fresh air down here, but reaching the air. No. <laughs> Yikes. Well, can we keep carbon? <laughs> if, if you want to. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I don't want to die. So, <laughs> so, um, so you you go. So this worm, this worm is 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 big. This worm is about eight to ten feet long. Um, yeah. It's about three, maybe four feet wide at its widest, just because it's kind of, it's more yeah, flat I'm on climbing, the ground. I'm climbing up on top of it and like, <laughs> seeing where I started, I'm going to dig in with my hands and like, all right, this is it, feel around for where the organ was and like, try to be more careful about how to cut, cut it open to like, like make it a proper, like, slicing motion to open up as much as possible of it so okay so you're just gonna you're gonna keep cutting though right surgically yeah i'm gonna try yeah, to be just, more yeah, surgical you're be a about bit, it so to, just to be clear when you punctured it that's just like this this gas just came out of it right it was it's not yeah. like a, it wasn't a trap it wasn't anything like that um it wasn't explosive meeting under any real pressure it's just this gas was released right yeah. Almost like a blood-filled fart, right? I mean, I, I hate to <laughs> kind of use that term, but it is what it is. Um, mm. You keep cutting. The smell is still vile, but you've got nothing left inside of you. You dry heave a little bit. Nothing major. You're 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 able to cut open about a good four foot long gash from the son of a gun. Wow. Yeah. It's the text. This girl's really You're freaking up. Right oh, everybody's breaking up. Is it breaking up for you guys as well? Is this for now? Both radio head. Is it bad for you guys too? Oh, I can uh, hear you now, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, there, there we go. Okay, okay try again there, Dado. Uh, is it? What am I doing now? Can I start digging around in it to see what's in there? Or? Yeah, if you want to, you've got about a you know a foot long cut in. And about four feet long, you know, lengthwise. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna see what, like, try to, like, open up and have a look inside. Okay, so it's obvious why this thing was so tough, why certain attacks were kind of bouncing off of it. I mean, its skin is a good six inches thick, right? Yeah. And you reach inside, and man, it is just, uh, how deep do you want to reach your arm in this thing? I mean, I'm gonna have a prod first to see if anything's, like, venomous or, uh, no, wait, I'm sorry, you're going to do what now? 
Venom is when they buy you. See, see if anything's poisonous. Like I'm not gonna like immediately stick my hand in there and like get burnt by acid or anything. So okay. So so what are you gonna do though? Because you gonna, gonna, what you be, just said I'm is gonna, I'm not gonna stick my hand in. So no, I'm I'm gonna be careful. I'm not. I'm just. I just meant I'm not gonna stick my whole arm in there at the same time. Like I'm gonna open it up. And like try, try oh, to okay, so it. you open it to kind of take a look inside. We'll just yeah. say that Doc has got a torch and there it's lit. You know, we've got some light going. Yeah. And inside is just a jumble of there's clothing, there's leather armor, there's bone fragments as small as, you know, two or three out. inches. <laughs> as I'm going to start <laughs> sifting through the loot in there and like tug it out. We're looking for the goggles. <laughs> Took it out. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a perception check for no reason whatsoever here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you start throwing pieces of this whatever's in its stomach. I right? was the one doing perception. No, I'm rolling my own perception. No, no, no I'm the one rolling the perception. I wasn't rolling oh, for you. Damn it. So I wasn't rolling for you. Okay. So. This is the scene out of Jaws, it's right? Where they're, okay, good. Here comes another spoiler, Jimmy. Here's the scene out of Jaws where they're cutting open the tiger shark on the dock, right? And they're throwing out, you know, uh, uh, oh, uh, life spoil every movie tonight. Yes, I am. <laughs> and so they're, you're throwing, you're throwing out pieces of leather armor. You're throwing out, um, in one case, half a skull, right, with some of its brain matter still inside of it. You're throwing out. I mean, it's just vile what you're doing. And man, your robes and your stuff just gets covered in viscera and blood. And it's, you know, it's 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 on your elbows, man. This is the dirty work you do to this get rich. Work, <laughs> this is what street, how street urchin survives. <laughs> All right, give me a, uh, give me a, let's see, what would I make this? Probably still perception. We're going to go at disadvantage on this one. I'll tell you the DC afterwards because it's going to be high because <laughs> when this thing eats, this thing just chomps like like nothing, right? It chews. That mouth is going after stuff what, as it's What in. was the... Perception gonna... at disadvantage. Per... Oh, yeah. I'm, there's no way I'm doing that. <laughs> this is more about do you high roll versus anything. Okay. So all you find is blood and matter and and viscera and bone and leather and cloth. And in, in one case, you find half of a sword hilt. Um, in another case, you find a quarter of a, or the soles of a boot. <laughs> I mean, this is just, you know, when, when, when this thing was eating, this thing was, was, was chomping as it was going down, smashing, cutting, tearing, you know. I mean, it, it, it took a good three or four or five tears at, at the body before it took each of them down and there were six bot no i'm sorry there were three bodies inside of this current one and they're now spread all over the map <laughs> i mean this is just this is okay uh, for the next we'll say until you get cleaned up the rest of the party has to make a constitution dc 15 or higher just to stand within 10 feet of you <laughs> <laughs> you are no, I'm serious. I mean, he's, he is just covered man he didn't even take the time to put on the slickers right I mean, he went in there and he was looking for stuff and there was nothing to be found yet oh, i did thanks. this for you Duncan. i'm sorry yeah thanks thanks thank you thank you flying up Elliot, you can't even go within 10 feet of him and it's just it's it's not that it smells, it, it does. It's not that it's bloody, it is. It's just everything combined is like, holy hell, dude, did this guy just... I mean, I, I don't even know how to describe him right now. But <laughs> good for you, Dadel. <laughs> You're probably not it. eating in the manner. <laughs> worth it. They're going to have to hose him down outside. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, you know, obviously, Dakro, thank Flago for uh, for trying. Good effort. Okay, um, I'm assuming everybody's going to kind of search around a little bit, so let's make this easy. Let's get a perception roll out of everybody, um, and then I'll decide if you guys find anything of note. Ugh. 
Okay, Dimitriov, you're searching through some of the bodies over here, where you, kind of where you're standing. Not really the bodies. There's a few bags. There's a few, um, you know, that when whenever they were doing whatever they were doing, they were just discarding items. There is no gold or coins or things. They were searching for that, but they had thrown pretty much, you know, stuff back there. You know, I'm sure that some cultist at some point had come by and picked up something that they thought they could use, and it, you know, so stuff's been moving. But you find, you find a uh, a, a large. Uh, I don't want to call it a pouch. We'll call it a smaller, smallish bag, right? And um, yep, add add the gold, and then I'll take care of the scimitar. So um, you find a, a smallish bag that is tied off with a very beautiful, beautiful silver silken. It's not silver or the metal, but it's just silver colored silken tie. Ooh. Ooh. What do I do with it? <laughs> Put it in my pocket. Well, it's a bag. It's so it's it's about a two foot tall bag. There's contents within it. Oh, open the bag. Okay, you open the bag and inside you find what may literally be the most pristine silken rope you've ever seen. It's got no marks. It is woven perfectly. It is... Um, it has threads of silver through it to a point. It's just beautiful to the... It's, it's somebody took great care in weaving this rope. It's perfect for your Hancock. I know, I know, I know. It's a Fixed little too thick for your Hancock. This is a... It's not quite as thick as a hempen rope, but it's it's... It's still a good, you know, the size of it's a silver dollar. Although you guys may not know what a silver dollar is. So um, it's about two, two and a half inches across, maybe a little smaller. It's 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 a good sized rope. It's a strong rope. I will take it <clears throat> and I'll swing the bag over my shoulder. Honda. Off we go, like a schoolboy. <laughs> Off we go, like a schoolboy. <laughs> all right, is there anything else anybody else wants to do here? Uh, I've already picked up all my bolts and arrows that were spent. I Perfect. need to find the thing that I'm looking for. <laughs> You're going to keep going, Dale. <laughs> I mean, it's not here. We need to go up the ladder. Up the ladder. I think we should get a beak as well, right? A beak or... You know the the ends of these tentacles? I'll take, I'll take one of the beaks. Yeah, the ends of these tentacles. Could we cut off the end of a tentacle? Mm. No, I don't want a tentacle. Well, it's, it's the evidence tentacle though, right? The mouth or the tentacle meeting the, the, the tail end? The, like the four tentacle things that it's got? Yeah, the five tentacles. Yeah, you could you could cut that off. Yeah. Yeah, you stick that in your bag. I don't want that in mine. Okay. It's disgusting. <laughs> You're not already covered in it, Dale. It's disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to keep things like this. Like, I'm happy to sift through it in the heat of the moment, but I don't want to keep it. Yeah, but we, we it's our job, though, isn't it? So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep those things. I'll keep the... Yeah, you can keep the other one. I took took it off for you, the beak. <laughs> okay, what else, gentlemen? I'm going up the ladder. Well, should we not talk about it? Yeah. No. <laughs> We should talk about it. Flaggle. He's a man on a mission. Elliot, anything you'd like to do, sir? Uh, following the battle, um, my my psyche and you know my 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 physical strength are able to, you know d destroyed, and I'm I'm basically barely staying awake. I'm collapsed in the corner of the cave, next to a wall. You know, men mentally and physically destroyed. I would come over to help you out and Much like uh, lift life. your spirits, but I am afraid that that will make things worse in my current state. Elliot, so. Elliot give me a give me a religion check at advantage, please. Oh. oh. Elliot, you your eyes slide back into your head for a second. Your no, eyes closed. The others don't, don't see this. <laughs> Right, the others don't see this, but your eyes slide slightly back in your head a little bit. You go black for a split second. Everything just just goes away. <laughs> right? <laughs> Moments later, you snap too. 
<laughs> it's, it seems like for you, you seem like you've been gone a year. For the others, you literally put your head back against the wall for a second, closed your eyes, and then kind of shook your head and then came back too. Um, you have you have a vision of a great platinum cog that is it is you you're you're back in school again <laughs> in one of the one of the temples and this amazingly beautiful platinum cog is hanging from the sky in front of you in one of the temples where you did a lot of your studying and this platinum cog a small beam emanates from the dead center of this platinum cog and hits you dead center in your chest right <laughs> 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 and you have a vision, as I mentioned, and it tells you to go. It 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 before you. You see the caverns that we're in, and you see the altar that's over here. No. And uh, and you see that same platinum glow from behind the altar. Mm. Once you steel yourself enough to stand up yet again. You finally are able to come to your feet. Your knees are shaking. You you have a cold sweat yet again coming down the back of your neck into your into your armor, and you um your you have had some type of an interaction. You've never had one of these before. With your liege, with your patron, is the chief and you engineer. recover you recover all of your spell slots. Wow. Ooh. You may take you may take a long rest right now. You'll get full benefits from a long rest. And make sure you click is this an overnight? His palms are heavy, weak knees, arms are sweaty. You stand up with renewed vigor. Your shoulders back, your head high. You don't even feel the slight slightest bit tired any longer. But but I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, there there the would be some Elliot, residual the right character. from the actual event. <laughs> But your body doesn't feel it. Your soul does. So was that was this the the this cog was this leading me to something? Do I investigate? The, I I move over a renewed sense of purpose towards the the altar. Is there anything anybody else is doing while this is happening? So Elliot basically stands up Elliot. after he is 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 looks just destroyed. And after literally maybe a second of closing his eyes and standing up, he's back on his feet and moving. I don't want to say, are you moving trance-like, Elliot, or are you moving with purpose? Oh, I'm moving with purpose. I'm fully awake now. I'm engaged. I have a new mission provided to me by my deity, the chief engineer. Some sign has been sent. So you move over to the um, to the, the the glow is still there though faint. It's like a it's like a um, uh, it's almost like a, a the the residual of when you see an explosion in the sky or fireworks or you 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 stare into a flashlight and blink. There's that afterglow. The light isn't there any longer, but you can see where the light was, and it's coming from directly behind the altar. Moving behind the altar, you see a very small, small brooch on the ground. Brooch. Ooh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's slightly covered in blood. Oh, stay it away, is, diddle. Um, <laughs> I like that. Well, whatever. It's slightly covered in blood. It was somewhat hidden from the eye. It is, it, it, it is in the shape. It is in the shape of a large, I don't want to say large, because it's only maybe three inches across. It's in the shape of a snake wrapping itself around a staff. Well, I notice the brooch. It doesn't seem creepy at all. <laughs> Toe like I bend down the brooch glinting what parts of it aren't covered by blood and I I I take it in my hand um, and, and, and bring it up to my face to inspect it more closely. So this brooch is just beautiful, right? It's it's the the care so this is if if it's not gnomish made, whosever care it was, whether it be the elves, whether it be the dwarves, or whether it be man, definitely not goblin. Sorry, Diddle. Whether it be dwarves, whether it be elves, whether it be man, 
They took great care with this brooch. Great Not care. Excused. It is just amazingly detailed. Each individual scale has been carved out of it ever so slightly. Sometimes it looks as if, I'm sorry, in, in some cases it looks as if the uh, scales are inches deep and obviously that's a trick of the eye and as you wipe your fingers across it to feel it, it's they're, they're, they, the ridges are so slight you barely you barely register them. The eyes are carved beautifully. They stare directly into you. The face kind of facing you from the front of the staff itself. The staff is a straight piece of gnarled wood of some kind that has slight weaves back and forth left and right in it. I call to the others, uh, Flagel Starp and uh, Daco and uh, Dimitrov are all fairly close anyway. I move over to them, um, well, keeping my distance from Flagel Starp, of course, <laughs> and I say, friends, comrades, I found this this uh, this this trinket of great beauty and great craftsmanship, uh, but I fear the creator or the uh, uh, the, uh, the, the what might be contained within this item. Have any of you seen anything like this before? Dadal, I'll let you make a... Um, why don't you make on this case... So, uh, Dadal, even from a distance, you can kind of gaze at it, right? We're going to we're gonna role play this a little bit differently because you're, you know, he wouldn't just toss it at you, right? I, mean, I hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> right? He's not going to toss this thing at beauty, but you're not allowed to come within 10 feet of him. <laughs> so, Dato, why don't you give me, please... Wait, 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 wait. I've got something for this. Exactly. Good. What do you got? I'm going to cast Mage Hand. <laughs> I was actually hoping you'd go in. Okay, so you cast Mage Hand. And this is this Spectral Alien. Floating, what does your Mage Hand look like? A you, know? you choose within range. It's a, a, a Spectral Floating Hand. And okay, but uh, What does your hand look like? Is it your? Is it literally a little Daedal Hand? Is it, <laughs> is it a it's Dragon a Paw? Yeah, is it, you know, no, it's a Spectral Floating Hand. Okay, oh, great. But, it's a Spectral like Floating it's a, Hand. It's it's a it's my it's a, yeah it's a replica of my hand okay. uh, that uh, floats uh, from me and coming uh, over to Elliot, uh, and uh, I reach out and like you can put it in uh, in my hand. Uh, <laughs> Elliot's yeah. like, I showed it to you. Isn't that enough? <laughs> The, let the, me let, let me investigate it. I I think I recognize it. <laughs> the beauty and luster of the brooch lends me to be unwilling to part with it, but I recognize that Flago Start may have, as a source, or may have insights into the device. So I, somewhat, begrudgingly hand it over to the mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, I take it. Uh... And uh, it, it, take it closer to me to inspect it. Okay, so give me an Arcana check, please. Now, do you have anything? Let me see what you're... Because you may have... You've got the Draconic Bloodline. You've got... Wow, my rolls are ass. <laughs> okay, City Streets. Okay. So you recognize it to a point, Flargo Snarp. You recognize that a snake wrapped around some type of a staff, a rod, or a... Um, I describe this it, instantly to the others, exactly yep. as you say you, it. You recognize that that is a symbol or represents healing in some manner. Whether it heals the owner, whether it heals others, whether it's just for good luck, you don't know. But that's what this... The snake wrapped around a staff of some kind facing you represents healing and or health. And I hand it back to Elliot with the mage hand and then let the mage hand evaporate after Elliot takes it back. I mean, I, I'm kind of suspicious about this brooch that's been left on the floor in the middle of the dead of cultists, but I can... 
Oh, only a got... Sorry. Dimitriov? It's got to be to do with the leech, isn't it? Like, the snake is the leech? I mean, it was it was, it was another priest. Like, he, he was a priest that was here. He was clearly they healing eating, himself. They, they were eating the worm, like... For regen, right? Regen purpose. Okay, so this, no, so again, I'm going to reiterate that this looks like it was part of the quote unquote discarded items. It was, it was cast behind. Oh, okay, okay. So Sorry, this doesn't yeah, look, okay. this was not placed on the altar. This wasn't, I don't want to give you that impression. This wasn't like an item used in something like that. This was something that, that Elliot was given special vision. He believes special vision to either locate, find, see, Yes, so, no. despite my wariness, following Dadel, following Flagglesnob's description, I can only assume that such a device, a healing device, will be beneficial to myself. And I pin the brooch, well, onto my chainmail. Does that even work? I pin the brooch in, onto. In this case, absolutely. You will have you'll okay. have your your garb of my of, tunic. Of you will also my, have my representation cloak. of your of your school, your PhD. Right, you'll have all of that, so yeah. you could definitely place that somewhere al 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 on your on your uh, on yourself. Oh, wow. Many medals, yeah. I pinned the brooch next to all the other stuff on the front of my my robes. Give it a bit of a, a clean first, yeah. It's a bit yeah, you 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 wipe it off. It, it it the blood, anything. It literally just comes right off. There's literally nothing that is remaining behind once you give it the, the, the even the lightest wipe with one of the cultist cloaks. Mm. It is near perfection. Come here, little Jimmy. Time to go up. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. so, once again, once again, the camera pans out. The scene starts to go to black. The, um... The the before post credits roll mm -hmm. again to our viewing audience and to our players as themselves we 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 zoom back in on another scene right just like before this time what we see though is we see a cultist in a corner near some type of a large almost a giant crystal that's bright red glowing. Offering light as well as 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 well as a fire would, if that makes sense. And this cultist is massively jacked, right, to a point where his 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 leathers and his and his his robes are starting to tear. Um, and his face is covered in blood as he's. He is ingesting more of this worm that we've seen before these cultists do. And as he's ingesting this, the skin color on his face turns deeper and deeper red. Just impossibly dark red without going black. Right? I mean, think of the most, most crimson color you've ever seen. And he reaches down and picks up another hunk of this thing and continues to eat. And as he eats... He, he stretches his head back, drops that last piece of the worm that he was eating, stretches and, and kind of reaches back and falls over backwards. And as he does, all you see is the front of his clothing tears open and tears off and this massive amount of muscle just where his is. He's, he's just tremendously friggin' jacked now, right? But he is covered in in bloody pustules he's he's bleeding from several not i don't even want to call them cuts tears more than cuts and he stands up again and he's about six and a half feet tall right he's huge his boots have torn open and he looks down at this priest it's not the same priest we haven't seen this priest before he looks down at this priest, and the priest looks up at him and gives him a pet on his arm, and then the whole scene goes black. Mm. No offense, but your imagination is kind of gross sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we end today's episode. Glorious. Glorious. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much, Jack Bull. Thank you very much yeah, for playing, thanks, everybody. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.
Bye now.